time. Get over here. All right, I'll, uh, I'll start packing up. Now, Javi, you need to hurry. Look, I'm not giving you shit, okay? I'm just... You weren't here when Dad was sick, okay? I get it, but... You need to fucking be here when he goes. I know. All right, I'm just on my way. <sighs> David! It's David, hey! Hey, David. I had to leave my car. It's traffic's just it's backed up for miles. He's dead. No! No! I, I, I tried! You're a piece of shit. You know that? One time. Just the one goddamn time that you needed to be here. I tried. Please, I tried. Oh, you tried? You fucking tried? <clears throat> Everyone's here. They've been here for days, and where the fuck were you? <clears throat> we're there, all around him. People who love him, all around him. And he's scared. I'm seeing the panic in his eyes, and he's searching the room. ¿Dónde está Javier? ¿Dónde está mi hijo? I'm there. Right beside him, holding his hand. Like a good son. And he doesn't even see me. He doesn't even see me because he's looking for you. You don't think there's a million places we'd rather be? You don't think we all had to make sacrifices? I'm sorry. Okay? David, Jesus, I... Sorry isn't bringing him back. You selfish fuck. Uncle Javi? Why are you fighting? I can hear you from inside. What's going on? Don't worry, Gabe. We're just horsing around. Just a joke between brothers, you know? Yeah. Your uncle doesn't know how to take anything seriously. Go inside, mijo. We'll be in in a minute. Go on. It's okay. Inside. Come on. I should call someone, pick up the body. Yeah. I love you, little brother. You know that, right? With everything going on, I know. You think I was jealous of you. No, I, I don't think anything. Well, I was. For a long time. You've lost more than I'll ever have. But maybe something good can come out of all this. Because we need you here. It's time to grow up. You can't run from this. Not anymore. I know. You're right. I won't even argue. I'll be around more, honestly. You can count, count on it, me. huh? I want to believe that. I do. Javi. Kate. I'm so sorry, Javi. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Let's go inside. Your mom needs you. What happened? Come on.
Mama. Where were you? I tried. I tried. I'm so sorry. He's gone, mijo. He's gone. <laughs> He's in a better place, Mama. Uh-uh. Uncle Hector's taking care of it. What are the plans for the funeral? David made arrangements with your father before he passed. No puedo conectarme. Dicen que no hay servicio. You thirsty, baby? You want some juice? Grandpa's cup was empty. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. Tipo's awake. Soy yo, David. Estás en tu ¿Qué casa, cálmate. ¿Qué está Él está loco. Él atacó a Héctor. Solamente está confundido. Mamá. Gabriel, where's your sister? <laughs> keys! Where the fuck are the keys? Take Dad's car. Keys are on the dash. <laughs> Mama, get the kids. Meet at the hospital. Don't take the highway. It's blocked. <sighs> I'll bring the van around. Where's Mari? I don't know. Mija. Mariana! From the stars! Mariana, we have to go. Yaya's hurt. Come on, honey. We have to go. No, no, no! 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 It's no. okay. Baby. It's okay. County General Hospital. I know the way. Tell me when it reaches the campfire. I think we should probably get going. We will. I just need to know how fast they're moving. Damn it. I left my water bottle. Her just got there. 
Just under four hours. Come on. We should keep moving while the kids are asleep. Yeah. Looks like the herd is speeding up a little. I thought it was drifting southwest, but I'm not sure anymore. Every time I think we should just bed down somewhere and wait for it to pass, I can't shake the thought of us getting caught in the middle of it. It just keeps coming. It's slow, but that almost makes it worse. It makes it feel like we're in control. We should keep moving. It worked for us so far. As long as we stay supplied, we're fine. Yeah, maybe you're right. The van isn't so bad. We'll figure it out. We always do. Hey, I'm gonna sneak a smoke. I can't believe you found weed. Are you kidding? People were probably growing this before they realized they needed food. You really think we should be smoking now? Relax. Mariana's got headphones on and Gabe is drooling. I think we're in the clear. You want some? Nah. No thanks. One of us should be... sober. <laughs> Don't judge me. Oh, when I found out David had kids, I told him, I am not changing who I am around them. <laughs> and when he proposed, I reminded him that I'm not exactly stepmother material. <laughs> Case in point. He was reassuring, but yeah, I could tell he was worried about it. I knew he'd try to get me to change. <laughs> or at least he'd hope that being around the kids more would change me, you know? I suppose it did. <sighs> Do you miss him? I think about that a lot. Honestly, I'm not sure. I used to talk shit about all those mothers who'd go on about raising their kids being the hardest thing in the world. <sighs> Gabe's making me start to think they had a point. <laughs> His mood swings are just... Oh, I don't know. Some days I just won't leave him by the side of the road. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Jesus, obviously. You really shouldn't say things like that. I said it was a joke. It's half a joke. It's all joke. Look, I love these kids, but I could do without Gabe reminding me I'm not his mother whenever he's pissed. Man, he's a teenager. Puberty, hormones. The second you start getting boners, the whole world starts to get dark. What are you talking about? Sounds delightful compared to dealing with bloody underwear. <laughs> Christ, I need to get laid. <laughs> I realized that was an awkward transition. Sorry about that. You know, the kids can hear you. I just, no one wants to hear their parents talking about that. Stepmoms and uncles don't count. They're asleep. And besides, we're not really their parents. Still. Hmm. Ugh. What's that smell? That's gross. Hey! Mariana, I... I think we, we uh, must have hit a skunk or something back there. I already know you guys do drugs. That's a pretty severe way of phrasing it, Mariana. Don't tell Gabe. He's the one who told me. Oh, oh my god. You're even smoking in the car now? All right. Everyone roll the windows down before you all get contact high. We're about to make a supply stop.
You want a moment alone, Mari? I'm praying I find a candy bar. <laughs> All right. What do we actually need? Uh, a candy bar. Need, Mariana. Not want. Really need a candy bar. Pretty much everything. If it looks useful, let's use it. All right. Well, let's start with some gas and move up from there. Where are you going? Okay, that's cool. Have fun. Oh, Jesus. It never ends with him. I hate when they fight like that. I really hate it. It's like all Gabe wants to do is argue. Doesn't matter what it's about. Hey, I know that's what families do. They fight, they make up, and they fight all over again. At least you have your headphones. Yeah, but the batteries have been dead for a couple of weeks. I mostly wear them to fool you guys. It's easier to stay out of it that way. You can't just ignore us, Mariana. Well, at least, yeah, don't ignore me. I only do it in the van, and only when things are, you know, uncomfortable. Be nice to find some dinner. In a junkyard. You never know. These past four years, people have been hoarding all kinds of shit in all kinds of places. Oh, and Mari, if there's any trouble, you can find one of these cars. Yeah? Lock yourself in and don't come out. Not even once it's quiet. And wait as long as you can. Okay. Good girl. Hey, any luck, kiddo? I need a pen. Or a pencil. Just something to write with. A pen? Why are you looking for that? There's just something I really want, I really need to do. And I need a pen for it. Last night I was thinking about this stupid story my mom used to tell me all the time before bed. I used to hate it. But then I realized, I don't remember the ending. It was this goofy ending she thought was so funny and I thought was so dumb. I want to write down everything I can remember about everything. Because if I forget and they're all gone, I'm kind of gone too. At least a little bit. I just think that might be kind of important. Maybe. That's a great idea, Mariana. Waste oil. No use to us. Oh, that's gross. Okay. Now I'm sorry I did that. Find anything? I can't stop thinking about that herd. We get caught in it, and, and that's it. Peace, asshole. Can't charm your way out of that one. And we'd be gone in seconds. No, but I'd still try to charm them. What would I have to lose? It'd be pretty amusing, I'm sure. Until our eyeballs were ripped out of our skulls. There's gonna be a last one, you know? The last tank of gas, last piece of food. What if this place is empty? And, and the next, and the next. We're not gonna let that happen. 
Okay? Okay. I let it have its five minutes. I'm good. Come to Papa. Barely anything. I'll need to find more. Ugh, I don't think these tires would fit the van. Acetylene. Handy for welding, but not much else. <laughs> Once this car made someone very happy. Now it sits here, rotting away. Así es la vida. That could hold a lot of gas. Could be really handy if we stayed for a while. What's going on in there, buddy? I'm in a bad mood, okay? I want it to go away, but... he won't. I just wish we weren't always on the road. I like being with other people. Just... we're in that car for so damn long. The AC hasn't worked in ages. And then... it ain't my last damn tape. But we still got each other. It's better than nothing, right? I don't know. Maybe just leave me alone. Okay. But if you want to talk later, I'm... around. Bingo. Some sort of fuel tank. Too risky to search up there. Doesn't look stable. Looks like there's more to see up here. Any luck? Some. But not enough. Gabe? Hey, Gabe. Let's go take a look over there. Gabe, stay close to Javi. Got it? Oh, all right. Hey, look. There's one they never took to pieces. Good catch. <sighs> Shit. It's locked. All right. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Shh. <laughs> 
Look at all that fuel. This is gonna take a while. Locked. Oh well. At least it had some gas. Looks like it came from in there. Gabe, stay close. down. Might be able to get in through the hatch. Locked. Gabe, come check this out. Not the cleanest place. Oh, no muertos, at least. Just be careful. This place is decked out! Double A's. I know someone will be happy to see these. looks pretty comfortable and pretty gross are you kidding me lucky for you they put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries well, there's enough food in here to keep us going for a long time Check it out. This is actual, honest to God, pudding! Seriously? And it's not just food. There's a mattress. There's blankets. Someone else's mattress. Someone else's blankets. We need to just take our gas and get on the road. This place does have a funny feeling about it. And if Muertos were to somehow surround us... Great. Now I'm officially creeped out. Come on, one night. We bunk down, eat a real meal. It would be nice not to sleep in the van for a change. Please. The herd is coming, if it's not here already. We should go and get ahead of it, before it's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. Why can't we just enjoy it? Javi, can we? We could stretch out, sleep well for once? Come on, you know it's not a big deal. We've got guns. We can protect ourselves. And we'll feel so much better after some real sleep. We're gonna get what we came for and get out of here. Great. 
another shitty cramp night in our shitty cramp van. Hooray. Come on, let's at least grab the food. Oh, guess what? Uh, now, you can really drown us out. <laughs> Thanks for that. Backing me up and all. How does it feel to be the bad guy this time? It must be a new sensation for you. Oh, clearly I have a thicker skin. Hey, Kate. Can you come help us with this? <sighs> hey, uh, wait, but you... This way you can make up for being the bad guy. Thanks. Grab some gas. We need to head out soon. What the fuck do you think you're doing with our gas? Go on, speak up! <sighs> I'm sorry, man. Look, it's just a can. We needed it really we? bad. I fucking knew it. There's more than just you out of here. You ain't the loner type. I can tell. I know you got people. They're out scouting around. But they'll be back soon. They're not gonna be too happy if they see you pointing a piece at me. Yeah, probably not. Then again, maybe they're already here. Waiting to make an ambush. Fan out, look for the others. Lonnie, you're with me. You assholes in there! I got your boy! You don't want him getting shot, you best come out there careful with your hands up! Go on, you first. You get ambushed by your own people, that shit's gonna make my day. Open it real slowly. Looks like you and your friends had a real feast, huh? You can't just take what you like. I don't roll over like that. Look, look, I I'll get you more food. Okay, I can replace everything, I That's swear. That's the goddamn least you can do. Look, I, I, I get it, all right? You're starving. Who the fuck is it? At the end of your rope, thought you hit pay dirt. Honest mistake. But I got this sneaky fucking feeling <coughs> that you're full of shit. I ain't gonna let it be like the last time some assholes rolled on us. Keep an eye on this dickhead. I'm gonna grab some cuffs. You got it. Just chill, okay? No need to make this any harder. Look, just, just let me go, okay? Please. Look, man, this doesn't have to go. The fuck was that noise? What you got hiding under there, boy? If you know something, you better spill it. You don't want me finding out for myself. 
Don't open that. Hey, I'm warning you. You open that and you're dead. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> Guys, get the fuck in here! <laughs> Holy shit! You have to pay for what you done here. Wait, 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 don't you! Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Please, man! Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back there. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Stop! Stop! Ah, shit! No, no, no! That's good. Just keep looking forward. Please. I just... I need help. Well, that's obvious. The way your friend there ran off, I don't think he's likely to come back and save you. Okay, now don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not as nice as you. I won't hesitate. You're a kid. Whoa, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. Oh, shit. What do you need the truck for? To drive. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522 and, and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard, if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. Yeah, absolutely. You got a deal. Good. Let's go. 
this really necessary? I don't know you, I don't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Look, I get it. You're being cautious. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Now it's nice to meet you, Clementine. If you say so. You don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. You give me a weapon, we can protect each other. I give you a weapon, I can't take my eyes off you. At least this way I know what I'm up against. Muertos. The herd caught up with us. Muertos. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Usually, it's just me on my own. Sounds kind of lonely, if you ask me. Well, I didn't ask you. And, anyway, I prefer it like that. So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. Well, I didn't do it alone. My, uh, my, uh, Kate helped. She did most of the work, actually. Sounds nice, having a partner. It is. Well, how about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Can you do that, please? Fine. Whatever you say. Thank you. Don't make me regret this. Come on! There! Get to the gate! <sighs> Keep going! You'll open up! Shit! Hey! Open up! I can't open the gate till you clear them out! Can't risk it! On fire! <laughs>
stuff in. Damn it, Francine. One of these days, those doors are gonna close, and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah. And when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there. Hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that. And I wouldn't recommend changing your mind. If you want to hang on to all your teeth, that is. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time, though. It's just a pit stop, okay? We're gone as soon as there's a window. I hope that window comes soon. In the meantime... Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family... They're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know... they'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go. This way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since... Well... You know... It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? Looks like someone's in the middle of a game. I wonder where they found this old thing. I haven't seen one of these in years. Chess. Not really my game. I think Gabe used to play, though. Play your hand. You're gonna lose, but you don't have to do it in slow motion. Don't try and rush me. <laughs> I know your game. This is my game. Clearly. Always a smart ass. Well, it ain't gonna work. Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it. Nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. Past is the past. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call, or should I fold? Hmm, don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. Though all it takes is one good hand. I don't really gamble anymore. Went all in on the wrong hand once. <laughs> it's okay, hon. I got this one. Raise. Moment of truth. Flip them. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight. 
Oh, hell yeah! Nice! Oh, calm down, both of you. Bottoms up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal, and it's done? What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? And I don't respond to threats, neither. Just make it right. We can all walk away from this nice and easy. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. <gasps> I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, fucking believable. Look out! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy. I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. Boy, you have it wrong, buddy. I don't control her. Which looks like bad news for you. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun! Right now! Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you! Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it! You've done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there, and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do Whoa. with you. Oh, hey, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. I oughta punch your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey, thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um, that was cool of you. I wasn't sure there for a minute. Of course. Anytime. Well, I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. I mean it. Just don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. Javier, pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Now, let's see about that wound. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. <sighs> I've never understood it. Are you calling me pretty? <laughs> I was talking about Eli, the dead guy. Oh, yeah, good. Because I prefer dashing. Or debonair, maybe. Yeah, I'll try to keep that in mind. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. 
If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing? Look, things got out of hand. Clementine was only trying to make a point, but then... You make it sound so casual. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but... I know a thing or two about losing family. I wouldn't want to make any trouble for you. This whole thing's been... Pretty messy. I hear you, but... Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms, and on my timeline. You got me? All right. Fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Trip, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they could need a medic. No, -uh, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but... Well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. If your family does need help, I'll be right there to give it. Something tells me Trip won't be too happy about you sneaking us out the back door. He'll get pissy, but he'll get over it. Sometimes with him, you gotta ask for forgiveness rather than permission. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but... I'll be back in an hour. You know, I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah. She's... She's something. The thing is, is, and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. You're right. Trip's got more muscle, just in case. We'll wait and get a ride with him. Glad you're finally listening to reason. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. It's gonna be a while before that herd passes. We might as well get some sleep. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. That's good. Getting into first gear is the hardest part. Now, just stay on the road. <laughs> Most important rule there is. Now, let's try shifting into second. Not bad at all, especially for a first time. You just gotta ease up off the clutch a little smoother, all right? You don't have to make the switch all at once. I don't know why we didn't pick an automatic. Because every car out there ain't an automatic. You need to be able to drive whatever you find keys for. And once we get down to Florida, we'll ditch the wheels and I'll make a sailor out of you. Mark my words. You too, buddy. I just can't get him to talk. It's unusual for his age. Well, the heater's broken. He's cold. Only makes sense to head for Florida sooner than later. Leave all this snow behind, right? Be like summer every day. Hell, I'm gonna have to find me some shorts. Yeah, no kidding. It's freezing outside. 
The sooner the better, for sure. No more winters ever again, Clem. I'll teach AJ to fish, how to swim. We'll watch the sunrise every morning. All three of us. But we ain't getting nowhere doing 25 miles an hour. Shift her into third. Let's get her really cooking. Well, there you go, Clem. Time we get to Florida, you'll be a better driver than me. Proud of you, Clem. Hey, I really appreciate you teaching me. You know, I... I always dreamed about the day I'd teach Duck to drive. You're the best second chance I could ask for. Where's your blanket, goofball? I swear this kid never makes a peep. Who knows how long he's gone without a blanket. A duck was gabbing a mile a minute at his age. Wasn't full sentences, but it was something. There's nothing wrong with AJ. He'll talk when he's ready. I know. Just a bit odd for a child his age. Then again, Albert Einstein didn't talk till he was four, and <laughs> look how he turned out. Crap! I got it! Turn the wheel! Don't! Is AJ okay? Shit. Help me up. I don't... I don't feel anything. Th that's good. No. Clem, I don't feel... anything. I, I can't feel my legs. I just... can't get up. Damn it! Well, I, I can get you into the car! I don't... <clears throat> Shit! This ain't gonna work, Clem. Hey! Hey! Stay away from him! <laughs> you gotta go help AJ, Clem. I ain't letting you watch those fuckers chew me up. Go, Clem! Now! AJ will be safe with me. I'll take great care of him. I promise. I know you will, Clementine. I wouldn't trust AJ with anybody else. Now, go! Hey, dipshits! Come and get it! <laughs> AJ! Come on! Hey, Clem. We almost there. Hey, Clem. Yeah, we're close. I gotta say, I hope your people are safe and sound. Eleanor asked me before we left to make sure of it. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. So that's what I'm gonna do. Though why she went to bat for you, I've got no idea. I mean, she hardly even knows you. And you don't know her, for that matter. Makes a guy wonder, you know? You know there's not much mystery to a trip. She's a good human being. Yeah. Eleanor's got a big heart. That's for damn sure. Guys, that's the place.
What a mess. Jesus. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? Tape player. Mariana? Mariana, are you here? Javi! Oh my god! You're safe! I can't believe it! You told me where to hide. I just listened to what you said. Lock yourself in and don't come out, not even once it's quiet. It kept running through my head like on a loop. I don't even know how long I was in there. Then I heard your voice. I thought I was hallucinating at first. I'm so sorry I left you behind. I've been trying to get back here this whole time. You don't have to be sorry. You said you'd come back, and you did. Kate, and your brother, where are they? We got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up. Kate yelled that they were gonna try to make it back to the van. Then that's where we're headed. Let's go find your brother, sweetheart. Oh no. No. No sign of him. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. Kate. They're trapped in there. Ariana, stay back. Gross. Come on. I think we get a pass. Oh. <laughs> I, I wanted to come after you. I, I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. We only had a couple bullets left. Oh, I thought we were done for. You're still alive, aren't you? So is Kate. So is Mari. That's all that matters. I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. You must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Well, not much we can do about it here. I've got a lady friend who's a doctor. As soon as we get back to Prescott, she'll patch you right up. I'm Trip, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should be getting back. Don't want to push her luck. Who's the kid with the gun? She have a name you want to share with us? Or are you going to make me do my own introductions? Clementine's a friend. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Oh my god. Javi, do they have hot water? Even, like, lukewarm water would be okay. Ugh, oh, and bubble bath. Wouldn't bubble bath be amazing? Eh, don't get your hopes up too high. It's a nice place, but it's not the Ritz. Well, whatever they've got, I'm sure it's gonna be great. Between you and me, these kinds of missions don't usually go so well. But you found every single one of your people. And you found them alive, healthy, reasonably cheerful. It's a hell of a thing. I wasn't expecting this. Believe me, to have my family back together again, it's... 
I get it. I do. When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. I was hoping you might stay. You know, considering... Considering what? You came all the way out here with me. Yeah, for the van, not for... Cool. Thanks. Jesus, I'm so... She just... I know, Harvey, and there'll be time for all that, but not right now. Kate needs a doctor. <clears throat> Which means we gotta go. We got a window here, man. We gotta get a move on before they start shooting again. I can't leave her like this. I won't. You wanna die too? You think that's gonna help your little girl? Then get the fuck up and help me. It's time to go, man. We stay here and we finish this. Are you fucking nuts? We gotta get the fuck out of here we right now! We already killed one of you. If we don't stop them, they're gonna come after your family again. Let Trip help them. You stay with me. What? N no, uh, Javi, you have to come with us. Javi, please! Trust me, Javi. We have to end this now. No, Javi, please come with us. Please! Javi, come on! Get her back to Prescott. We'll cover you. Javi! Go with them. I'll be fine. Give me a hand here, kid. Just keep firing until they're out of sight, okay? I'm ready. Javi, don't! Please, let me do the dishes. That's the least I can do. I'm crashing here. Crashers clean dishes. Your family. Besides, if they're not clean the right way, David becomes a big baby about it all. 
I'm a pro at this point. I happen to be an expert relaxer. If only you weren't a degenerate gambler, too. Ouch. Damn, too soon. Nah, I know you don't mind, but I, I won't be here for too long. Just, you know, gotta get back on my feet a little. You're right. I don't mind. But David does. Is that it? Maybe a little bit. No, actually, forget I said that. Uh, that wasn't for me to... Just forget it. Sorry. Forget you said what? Thanks. So where do you think you'll go? Don't know. With what happened, I'd be amazed if I could get a job assistant coaching T-ball. You'll land on your feet. Well, here's hoping. I could use a fresh start. Uh, I'll, I'll probably just travel around, you know, see what's out there. Wanna take me with you? Well? Uh, sure. Just finish up with those dishes and I'll bring the car around. <laughs> but I pick the music. <laughs> yeah, never mind then. You know I'm just messing around, but it's hard to say no to a fresh start. I always wanted to go to Norway, see the northern lights. But you'll be jet-setting and I'll still just be here. Oh, oh god damn it! Oh, Ooh, shit, quick, shit, run shit, underwater. shit! Well, that was Steven's army glass. Oh, he's gonna be so pissy about it. I can hear him already. Oh, it's so annoying. Glasses break, he'll understand. Not with this glass. <sighs> there you go. See, much better. What was that noise? Guys! Hello? My CEO gave me that. And unless you want to dig up his fucking corpse, he's not gonna give me another well, why one. Why don't we get an actual dishwasher? Oh, here we go again. Then you won't be on my ass anytime there's a spot on a fork. Excuse me? If we could even afford a dishwasher. It is just a glass. It was important to me, Javi. A glass? We don't see your ass for a year. A year. Then when your life goes to shit, we're expected to drop everything and roll out the red carpet. All for Prince Javi. And now you're gonna start telling me how to talk to my wife? This isn't about him. Really? He's the one standing right there judging me for something he doesn't understand. You don't know him like I do. Always judging everyone. Except himself. You know what, David? Time for you to open your eyes. Kate's gonna leave your ass. What? She told Hi. me so. You said that? Jesus fucking Christ, no! We were talking about traveling and I just... No, I definitely didn't say that. At all. Three days. Then I want you off my couch and out the door. We clear? Fine. Javi, that is my husband. We are married. In case you forgot. That's for life. Hey, hey, take it easy. What happened? They got away. Oh God, Mariana. I already dug a grave for her. Thank you.
never forget you. You were a good sister to Gabe. And... and like a daughter to me. Javi, thank you for staying. I think you probably saved my life. I couldn't leave you alone. That's because you're a good man. Well, not good enough to save her. You bought your people time, though. That counts for something. A sec. She carried this around for years. I'm sorry I never found you those candy bars. You deserved just so much more life. You should have been the one burying me. Except someday. Someday far away. You did everything you possibly... The other guys had this too. Oh, shit. What? Well, what's wrong? Clem? I've run into these guys before. Who are they? Please? They call themselves the New Frontier. They used to be decent people. Now they're something else. This brand they have. It's like an initiation thing. I was kind of stuck in their camp for a while. Not by choice. It was bad. I'm lucky to be alive. What do you mean, stuck? Were you a prisoner? I got out. That's all that matters. They left one of their cars behind. That's something, at least. Good. Just like you always wanted. I can take you back to Prescott, make sure your family's okay. But then I'm hitting the road. You should stay with us. Let's just get back to Prescott.
You're back. How's Kate? Uh, she... Just came out of surgery. Eleanor's still with her. You'd best get over to the infirmary. He made it back. She asked for you. You know. Please. Please just tell me how she's doing. Well, she came through the surgery as well as could be expected. Those bastards did her one favor, at least. Any lower, and that bullet would have torn her stomach lining as well. Your boy Gabe. He seems really fierce. He wanted to help so badly. He practically forced me to let him stay. That's Gabe. But she was bleeding so much, he... got overwhelmed. So when's she gonna be up on her feet again? She's stable. For now. But she's still bleeding inside. I don't want to lie to you. It's probably just a matter of time. I... I wish I could do more. No. I don't accept that. I can't. I've done everything I can for now. I'm sorry, Javi. I'm going to get cleaned up. You may want to find Gabe. He looked pretty upset when he left. This isn't going to make him feel any better. Still. I'll track him down. I know Trip drove like hell to get Kate back here. How's she doing? Not great. As well as can be expected. Yeah, considering. You should have come back with us. Your family, they needed you. Clementine needed my help back there. She could take care of herself. Your family, they were the ones who needed help. It's a hell of a situation. Just know I'm praying for you. All of you. And whatever happens, you all are welcome to stick around in Prescott, if that's what you want. Nobody's gonna force you, but we'd be glad to have you all here. Not gonna make a decision like that without talking to Kate, so... I'd rather check in with her when she's feeling better, you know? Sure thing. Let the lady weigh in first. Flew in a plane just like this to a baseball game in Arkansas once. Lifetime ago. You seen a kid come through here? Blood all over his hands. Dark look on his face. Headed off that way, without saying a word. If I were you, I'd give him some space. Just my advice. One parent to another. Wish I could, but uh, I don't think I can. Okay. But he sure didn't seem like he was in the mood to talk. That blood, I take it that wasn't his? His stepmoms. You gotta stay strong for her. Do whatever it takes. Know if my friends seen one in the same situation, I'd fight like hell. Anything we can do to help you out, just let me know. I, uh, appreciate that. Your boy stomped off towards the front gate.
Gabe? Gabe, come on. Look at me. I want to go back and bury Mariana. We buried her. It was... peaceful. How could it have been peaceful? I know how much you miss her, Gabe. I miss her too. And Kate, she needed me during her surgery. She needed my help. I just ran away like a stupid little kid. You stayed long enough to do some good. And because of that, I'm proud of you. You were there for her, as much as you could be. That doesn't count. I'm done feeling this way. Feeling powerless. I can't be some helpless little boy anymore. I need to be a man. Just like my dad was. He knew how men were supposed to act. What you said sounds real nice. But easier said than done. I don't care if it's not easy. Next time, I'm not gonna sit back and watch. I'm gonna do something. I have to. Listen, Gabe. Shit. Get inside! Now! We might have to leave. Make sure Kate's ready. You can count on me. I thought you kicked her ass out. Knock, knock! Anyone home? Shit. He was one of the men at the junkyard. These are those freaks that brand themselves. I wish we hadn't had to come all the way out here, but unfortunately, Badger here says you attacked his man. He says you fired on him. Took out a lot of our people. They shot first. They killed my niece. Shot a woman in cold blood. How many of my friends died because of you, huh? Sounds like a bunch of he said, she said shit to me. Well, what the fuck do you want? An apology? What I really want is for my dead buddies to be alive again. But I don't think that's too likely, is it? He needs to come with us. Answer to justice. Accept his punishment. Men have got to have laws, otherwise we're no better than the animals. Let's just talk this through. It ain't so simple. Fact of the matter is, you stole from us. You killed some of us. Give it up now and get down here. I think they need a little incentive. You hurt her, I'll kill you! Whoa! You didn't tell me you had a hostage. It's gonna be okay, baby. I love you, I'm baby. All right, baby. Just... just give them what they want. There's no reason this has to get ugly. But we ain't leaving without what we came for. You hurt her, and I'll hurt you back worse than you could ever imagine. Big words! The words are just that. Oh my god! Now get your ass down oh here, or I please. cut off the rest of them. What the hell are you doing? Javi, please, man. Just just go with him. You got to. You'll kill Francine. Nobody's giving in to them. We should start shooting. No fucking way. He'll kill Francine. He might kill her anyway, Conrad. We gotta risk it. No. Uh-uh. No way. We do not open fire while she's down there. Hello? Look. I'm sure we can work this out without anyone else getting hurt. Not interested in you trying to fucking stall. I'm gonna count from five. You know what happens at zero. Five, four, three, two, one.
It's cool. I'm coming out. I'm all yours. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> I don't know, man. Me neither. Good man. Let's lock him in the truck and get the hell out of here. I don't want to wait that long. Jesus Christ. Come on. I want to see him pay for what he did. We got what we came for, Badger. We had a deal. You asked for me to come down, and I did. Yeah? Well, fuck the deal. She says, there's enough room for her. <laughs> Are they following us? Not just the other car. It looks like we're okay. Eleanor, thank God. I can't believe it. All of our friends, all those people. 
Oh, Conrad. She deserved better. They all deserve better. You barely knew her. What the hell do you care? You're the reason they came to Prescott in the first place. She's there because of you. Conrad, easy, buddy. This wasn't his fault. Bullshit. Francine, Prescott, all because this washed-up cheat walked through our gates. I should have known it the second I looked at you. You ain't gonna stand up for nobody but your own. We... We just lost someone, too. So, say what you have to say. What? That's supposed to make me feel better? Calm down, Conrad. Please. All I know is, if it wasn't for him... Back the fuck off, now! Just back away! Take it easy, son. Gabriel, put it away! Now! He's gonna hurt you! No way! Just do it already. I don't even care anymore. Just put it down, Gabe. Come on, kid. Gabe, don't make me repeat myself. Don't touch my uncle again. Fuck me. Gabe! Let him go. He just needs to cool off. <laughs> we have to go back. We have to bury her. I wish we could, but Prescott's overrun. We can't go back. Well, we're not safe here either. What about Richmond? I've heard there's a community there. If it's true, they'll have food, walls, maybe even a hospital. All I want is to find the motherfuckers who did this. They took my home. They took my... God damn it! The one thing we all need is a place to call home. Maybe Richmond can be that place. Richmond? Huh. It's something, at least. <sighs> yeah. Fuck it. Let's go. That's a spirit, man. Hey, Gabe. Oh. Hey. You okay? Huh. Maybe they'll hit it off. Yeah? You know, that was really impressive back there. Hope so. Might be good for them both. They need someone their own age they can talk to. Come on, guys. We got a long drive ahead of us. What can I do for you here? I just... I feel like I'm burning up. And I'm dying of thirst. Here you go. Thirsty isn't good. How's her forehead feel? Uh, hot. Hot. Fuck. It's probably sepsis. Sooner we get to Richmond, the better. Oh, oh god damn it. Oh. It really hurts. <laughs> hey, you're gonna be fine, Kate. Uh, I'm just trying to be realistic. Yeah, well, I'm trying to be optimistic. Javi, we both know what's coming. Kane. We do. And this is gonna sound fucked up, but maybe this is my chance for... Christ, I don't know. A graceful exit. Not many people get those. I'd be one of the lucky ones. You can't talk that way. 
Hey, it's my deathbed. Just think about all that's happened. Mariana died. I couldn't stop it. And Gabe, I heard what happened when we stopped. Isn't it obvious? Look, he might be turning into David. He might be turning into you. He's not that sweet little boy I first met. But maybe this is better. Gabe is doing just fine, Kate. You know what he told me? That he wants to be a man. Wants to step up. You'll see. He's gonna be stronger than both of us. No, maybe. I don't know. All I care about is him becoming who he needs to be. And it's gonna be on you to make sure that happens. No, ma'am. I'm not buying this I'm dying shit. It's on both of us. You're buying it whether you want to or not. Oh! Hey, careful! Sorry. You should get some rest, Kate. We all should. Really. With pleasure. Ugh. Parents just love pretending the rest of us can't hear. I wouldn't know. Great. What now? I've got some bad news. So what's going on? Well, we got a bunch of cars clogging the underpass. Too many to drive through. We're gonna need to move some of them out of the way. <sighs> hey, I'm coming too. I'll stay with Kate and keep a lookout. Yell at us if anything happens. Awfully convenient the pass is blocked like this. Not convenient at all, if you ask me. If we move that car right there, we should be good. Come on, let's get to work and clear it out. How we doing? Eh, Conrad doesn't look too good over there. Tell me about it. He's a good man, Javi. Known him a long time. This is just a dark day for him. Yeah. Keep an eye on him for me, all right? How's Kate doing? She's holding on. We're almost there. Let me know if anything changes. I will. I shouldn't disturb her. She's resting. You good? Nah, man. I'm not good. I know. Let's just get this shit over with and get to Richmond. Now, those might come in handy. Saw you and Clementine talking back there. So? We were just talking. She seems pretty cool. Uh-huh. What's up? It's complicated. I had a... a friend. He had a wife, a son. He was really protective. Having people is nice, but it always ends up hurting in the end. 
never think otherwise. somehow. Pop the hood. You'd better not mess up my baby here. That'll do. Now I can pull out the cable. Hopefully that'll hold. Here goes nothing. Hey! There we go! I think we're set! We good? Be ready to move once the wreck is clear. We should be right behind you. Will do. Get the walkers! Tony! I knew this place didn't feel right. What the hell are we gonna do now? We have to come up with some kind of plan. Oh, what a great idea. A plan. Who would have thought of that? We need a plan. That's a great idea. Are you finished? We don't have a choice. We gotta fight our way out. I'm not sure I like our odds. Great. This is just fucking great. What the hell are we gonna do? Calm down. Calm down? I'm not gonna fucking calm down. Eleanor's out there alone right now. We wouldn't even be in this mess if it wasn't for you. That's not true. <sighs> Fuck you, Conrad. Whoa, 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 stop. There's somebody over there. What? Where? Shit. I see Everybody get down. Wait, was this all a trap? Whoever you are out there, we don't want any trouble, okay?
I'm gonna need you to turn around for me. Slowly. Did you hear me? The hell? That thing's not a toy. Drop it, or you might hurt yourself. Now then, I'm not gonna shoot. Not unless you make me. I just want to talk. You got me? Just want to have a word. So talk. Okay then. You, the two guys there, the kids, the women in the car, I saw you split up. I overheard that little argument just now. Your friends over there aren't gonna shoot me, right? You folks have your shit together? If you're some kind of broken tribe, then let me know now, because I've had my fill of people that can't agree on anything. They're good people. They've lost... a lot. Sure. We all have. Recently. Ah, fresh wounds. That makes sense. You're going to Richmond. That tells me you got something to do with what's going on down there. Question is, whose side are you on? Look, man, I don't know what you're... Don't move. Well, is he one of them? Hey, man, what do you mean by them? Who's them? You know what I'm talking about. The New Frontier. What? No, I'm not with those guys. You got this backwards. Avi, this guy's full of donkey shit. Do you want to let me talk? What's the point? How can we trust anything you say? You can call it a hunch, but I don't think he's with those guys. Says you. How do we know for sure? It's the truth. Nothing. Look, I'm telling you. I'm on my way to Richmond, just like you. I lost touch with some good people there when the New Frontier took over. What did you say? The New Frontier? They took over Richmond? Don't tell me you didn't know that. Fuck. Oh, God. Eleanor and Kate. They're headed right to the middle of those assholes! At least now we got an excuse to go after those motherfuckers. What are we gonna do? Everyone, just calm down. Calm down? Calm down? How the hell do you want us to be calm about this? They're gonna fucking kill us! Not em. if we get to them first. There's an old train tunnel that runs under the James River. From what I hear, it should be a straight shot into Richmond. A train tunnel. I could lead you guys there. But since a, a hobby here said you're good people and all, maybe you could lower those guns first. Lower than my ass? We're gonna tie you up and make sure your story checks out. That's really not necessary. I don't know. We just met this guy. We all just met. Lower your guns. Javi, man, don't. Do you trust me or not? Thank you. Ready? This way. Hey, what do we call you? Sorry, forgot to introduce myself. It's Paul, but my friends call me Jesus. Oh, come on. 
Come on. some dinner. Hopefully find us some dinner. Hey, I can hear you in there. Let me in. Please. God, there's so many. Please, don't leave me out here. Oh, shit. Hey there. Hello. Pretty big group of them out there. But it'll pass. Eventually. Are you hurt? Any bites? No. No bites. I'd say we make a pretty good team. The two of us. Well, the three of us, I mean. Thanks, I guess. No problem, kiddo. Anytime you need an oversized doorstop, you know who to call. He's a cute kid. You guys living here? You seem kind of young to be a mom. What are you, 13? Damn, you're a child yourself. It's none of your business, understand? Okay, okay, relax. We were out there scouting. Nothing out of the ordinary, and then... Ordinary, and then... Chaos, and... Shit, those bastards are slow, but God damn it, when there's enough of them. I got separated from the others. God, I hope they all made it. I thought we were ready for anything. But they were all around us before we saw them. I'm sorry about your friends. We've been in hotter spots than this, for sure. My people are probably at the rendezvous by now. What's left of them, at least. By the way, I'm Ava. And my group, we call ourselves the New Frontier. He's hungry. Hey, why don't you come with me? Meet my people. We have food, blankets, bottled water. Come on, dinner's on me. I owe you one. That sounds good. Sounds great, actually. Once the herd is gone, my people will find us. These tunnels were abandoned decades ago. But I've heard you can get through. Here's hoping. Javi, I need to talk to you. About? Look, I appreciate you keeping quiet about me in the New Frontier. But what I told you earlier, it's not the whole truth. their prisoner. I was... I was one of them. I should have told you sooner. I... I really should have. Oh my god! You let them brand you? Just listen. I'm not asking you to forgive me. But you have to understand, I had nobody. And they had food, supplies. I was all alone, Javi. You don't know what that's like. It 
It was a mistake, and so was not telling you about it. Tell me you're not still one of them. No way. Believe me. You all hear that? Coming from over there. Can you see anything? They're everywhere! Fuck! They are. Keep sharp. Watch out! Javi, help! Take him out. Thanks. I... Fuck is that everywhere? Trust almighty Conrad. Now every walker in the fucking county is gonna be heading this way. Come on. Follow me. <laughs> what the fuck? No one ever mentioned a train in the way. We better find a way around it, or we're fucking dead. Maybe we can just go through. Well, does it open? I got it! Come on! Daylight's ahead! Thank fucking God! Let's go! We can't have those walkers following us. Javi and I will block the door. You guys go ahead and make sure it's clear. Make it fast. We'll be right ahead of you. I'm staying here. Hold the door shut until I can find something to barricade it with. Hurry! Shit! I'm gonna have to break this thing off. Hurry, they're almost here. Javi! I can't... There's too many! Help! Watch that through! Now! Okay, let's go. We gotta... I wouldn't touch that gun, girl. You either, cowboy. What the hell are you doing? I heard you two. You think I'm stupid? Finish your little story. Now. We... we need to keep moving. No, you need to talk. Put the gun down, Conrad. Not until she rolls up her sleeve. <sighs> what? Why? I fucking knew it. You're one of them? You're goddamn right she is. What other bullshit did you shove down our throats, huh? I'm fucking believable. Jesus. Conrad, lower the fucking gun. This isn't necessary. Lower it? You're missing the bigger picture, son. Don't you see? We bring her to Richmond. They'll give us whatever we want. Medical help for Kate. She's our bargaining chip. They won't bargain with you. You don't know them. Won't know until we try. She's not a bargaining chip. She's a friend. Oh, I'm sure after less than a day, you two are just soulmates. That could actually work. What? You can't be serious. If it saves Kate's life, you bet I'm serious. Screw both of you. I'm not doing this. If you want to shoot me, shoot me. How about I shoot your little boyfriend here what instead? What the fuck, Conrad? Walk through this that guy's door. crazy. Shoot Nobody him. has to shoot anybody. Just tell Clem this is how it's got to be. And then we all step into the sunshine. Come on, man. Be reasonable. This helps both of us. I'm just gonna go. Don't take another step. Javi, please. You know this will work. I'm sorry, Clem. <clears throat> Fucking traitor. My family comes first. Come on, Clem. Start walking. You're a fucking coward! A fucking coward! Javi, how? How could you? I couldn't just kill him, Gabriel. You have to understand Oh, that. I understand it just fine. Think whatever you want. We're going. If you really want Clem to live, do this my way.
Why the hell has he got a gun on Clementine? You want to tell him or should I? Out with it! Why is there a weapon in that girl's back? No reason. He's overreacting is all. Like hell I am. If you just take a deep breath here, she's New Frontier. Has been all along. They're gonna be real happy to see her again. I put money on it. He's not wrong. This could be useful. But right now, we need to find Kate and Eleanor. You're right. Let's move out. The gates are this way. If your people are here, that's where they would have ended up. Why is it so quiet? Thought there'd be New Frontier marching in the streets and shit. Practicing on walkers or... Whatever the fuck they do. It does seem strangely quiet. Maybe we just got lucky. Trust me, they're out there. See us? I don't think so. Can you see anything, Javi? What are they doing? That's their car! Hey, keep it down. Kate? Kate, can you hear me? Kate, talk to me. Say something. Javi? Yes. Could really use something to take the edge off right about now. Huh. Very funny. I've been saving it for a while. Kate! Are you. Are you okay? Come here. Where's Eleanor? She... She went ahead to get help. She hasn't come back. Damn it. They must have got her. Jesus, how far is it to their compound? Not too much farther now. A couple blocks at most. Gabe, help me lift her up. I'm thinking Kate's not gonna make it much longer. So it's time we walk up to their front door and say hello. That mean we're doing this my way? It might. But so we're clear. You follow my lead until our people are safe. Understood? Fine. Here we go. There it is. New Richmond. This is a mistake. Just shut up and keep walking. We're here, Kate. I'm gonna get you inside, okay? Javi? If they can save me, how about you and me finally take that trip to Norway? The Northern Lights. Remember? Sky lit up all green and purple and white snow all around us. As long as we make some time to hit the slopes, I'm in. Jesus, there's a solid possibility this isn't gonna go our way. If you want to stay behind, I wouldn't blame you. Hey, this is where I was going in the first place. Hey! You again? You must have some kind of death wish. She needs medical help. And you have one of our people. Uh-huh. What's your point? Sorry about this, Clem. Clementine! How long's it been? Not long enough. Cute. She's got you mixed up in all this. Who is she to you? Doesn't look like she's here by choice, so... By force? 
She's our friend, which means what we're doing right now doesn't sit real well with me. But if we can't get inside those gates, Kate will die. All right, you have my attention, but I'd be lying if I said I was convinced. What do you want to do? Go get the boss. He's gonna want to see this. Now all of you, lower your weapons. Not a chance. Might be a good idea to play along here, at least for now. You put him down, I'll see that as an expression of good faith. Nice and easy. Or else this is gonna end bad. Everybody, put him down. Guess you were serious about this after all. What the hell's going on out here? They said they weren't here to hurt anybody, so I was trying to see if they... Oh my god. Dad? I hate being out so close to dark. It's harder to see them coming. We're just gonna get that propane and then come right back. I, I saw it in that pickup truck parked down the road a little, in front of the Wallace's house. I just wish there was an easier way to get it and that we didn't have to risk life and limb every damn day for food and water and gas for the stove. Oh, am I babbling? I babble when I'm scared. Nothing's easy anymore, Kate. But that doesn't mean we don't have to try. I know. It's just hard to get used to, that's all. We get over there, we grab the tank, and we get the hell back home. If we're lucky, we won't see a single one of those things. <sighs> Fingers crossed. There it is! Let's take it and go. Why would we get that lucky? I mean, it's not like we needed it or anything. Easy, Kate. Maybe there's something else we can use in there. Yeah, okay. Maybe. But we came out here for that tank. I just thought... This one time, we deserve to catch a fucking break. his face. Kate worshipped him. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm sure he was a, a good kid. He's not a kid anymore. He's just... one of those things. I don't even know what to call them. If they're not 
people. If they're just the dead. <sighs> Muertos. That's what we'll call them. I thought we were gonna die. I thought Gabe and Mariana were just gonna wake up and we would just be gone. When it was on you? Oh my god. I'm right here, okay? I'm here. You're here. We're still alive. That's what matters. Can we go back now? I know we all wanted to stay here in the house and wait for David to come back. But it's been three months since he drove away with your mom. What are you saying? We're not safe here. Not anymore. You and I could have been killed out there. For an empty can. There's got to be a safer place out there. Somewhere not so isolated. So? We'll leave. Go somewhere else. Somewhere safer. Somewhere with crazy thick walls, okay? And a gate that's 20 feet tall. You really think the kids are going to be happy with this plan? The kids will understand. A and if they don't, we'll just make them see it our way. We have to go. How come? What if I don't want to leave? Cabe. We're safe inside the house. A and I bet we can find more food in the neighborhood if we just look harder. We need to find somewhere with more people around people who are still alive people who don't mind sharing their supplies we have our own supplies not enough not anymore but what about dad what's he gonna think if he shows up and we, we just ditched him we might never find him again your dad would want us to do this game he'd want us to survive we've been surviving here at home barely I'm sorry Gabe but, Javi's right. Uh, how about you guys go and I stay here? You're a kid. That's not how it works. I can take care of myself. If I need any help, I'll just ask my friends. Gabe? Honey? What? What's what's wrong with her? Why is she acting so weird? Uncle Javi? I'll tell you when you're older, okay? Just tell me. I can handle it. I don't think so. We can't lie to him, Javi. He needs to know. Your friend, Drew, from down the street? He... He didn't make it. He... He turned into one of them. So you understand why, don't you? Why we have to leave? If that happened to you, I couldn't bear it. When do we have to go? Tomorrow, as soon as it's daylight. I want to leave him a note. I'll help you get started. Okay? What are we going to tell him? I want to say something good. Something that won't make him sad. Tell him we're gonna be okay. We're gonna stick together. And we're gonna get through this. Okay. I'm gonna write it right now. So we don't forget. Of course. I'll help him. Thank you. Really.
Dad? Javi! Is that really you? <laughs> I always hoped I'd find you. Never really thought it happened. Not after all this time. God, you have no idea how good it is to see your face. I think I got a pretty decent idea, actually. I knew you were still alive. I knew it! Hey, weapons down! This is my family! You gotta let us in. Kate doesn't have much longer. Jesus. Kate! David? I'm here, honey. I'm right here. What the hell happened? She's been shot. And we got the bullet out, but she's still bleeding. We need your doctor. Now, David. Thanks, Javi. For getting her here. She's coming inside! But she hasn't been checked. This is my wife, Max. You want her to die? No, I didn't say that. Our doctor's gonna help you, honey. I'm gonna make sure of it. Wait, I I'm going with you. Sorry, but the rest of you have to go straight to quarantine. What for? All newcomers get checked for bites, and they all have to answer a couple of questions. Our doctor will clear the two of them, but the rest of you have to come with me to the quarantine holding area. It's how we keep it safe for everyone. Yeah, right. Come on now, everyone else had to do it. Ah, this is bullshit. Come on. The sooner you come along, the sooner we can get you cleared. I'll be there as soon as I can! Let's go! Trip. Oh, God! Eleanor! When we found the car without you in it, I didn't know what to think. The engine up and died. I came here looking for help, and this happened. I've been so worried about Kate. I told them she needed a doctor. They promised me someone would look into it. Please, tell me they found her. They definitely didn't look for her. Because she was still in the car. But that's crazy! I told them she was dying! And clearly it wasn't a priority. Well, at least those assholes realized she needed a hospital once they saw her. I'm sorry, Javi. Really, but I didn't have any reason not to believe them. What? The people here in Richmond. Their new frontier. Oh my god. Oh, you ain't even heard the worst part yet. One of them's his brother. I didn't even know you had a brother, Javi. Maybe it's a good thing. We've got somebody on the inside. Somebody who can vouch for us. Vouch for you, maybe. Javi could be right. At one word from David, and the others came running to take Kate to the hospital. Whoever this guy is, he can't be all bad, right? I mean, he helped Kate instead of hauling her down here. Of course he brought her inside. She's his damn wife. You're kidding. Kate is married to your brother? The way you two acted around each other. I just didn't think she had a husband out there, is all. The only reason I know Kate is because she married David. I was the best man at their wedding. Wow. Okay. Family drama aside, hope you know I'm not about to make nice with New Frontier. I know you didn't have much stake in Prescott Hobby, but they burned that place to the ground for no fucking reason. After everything you folks told me, I'm guessing I'm not gonna find my people alive. Hell, Hobby. They killed your niece! Shot Kate! For all we know, your brother could have been behind it. And even if it wasn't his idea in the first place, if he knew about it and didn't stop it, that shit can't stand. I hate to admit it, but 
There's a chance he gave the order. If he didn't know it was them, if he was just trying to get payback for what was stolen, it's possible. Clementine, you were part of the New Frontier. Did you know David? I knew him. If I'm being honest, he's not a good guy. Is that right? If you told me he was the one behind Prescott, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm the first to admit my brother can be kind of a hard ass, but he's not that bad. People change. What happened at the gates? The fact that he's your brother? That doesn't change anything. I'm gonna find the man who killed Francine. These people better not get in my way. I'm gonna be asking questions about what went down at Prescott. And I won't stop until I get answers. As soon as I get a moment alone with David, I'll get to the bottom of this. He can tell me what we're up against. He has to. Family's gotta be good for something, right? Hey. Hey. I would have been here sooner, but I had to take care of... something. Come on already, Kate's asking for you. Maybe you think it's okay to keep a lady waiting. Thought I taught you better than that. What about the rest of my friends? They're not invited. Hurry up now. Looks like the rules don't apply to everyone, huh? That's right. Some people get out of here early. Others stay a long fucking time. Trip, just drop it, okay? Smart cookie, this one. Javi, just go. I'll be back as soon as I can. You know that. Thanks. Family must be good for something. Nice, Javi. We have a process. Our own way of doing things. Your guys better not have a problem with that. Things don't go well for troublemakers here. I hope that's clear. Of course not. We're happy to be here. It's... good to see you alive, brother. Same here. Come on. Where are we going? Kate asked for you. I thought you'd want to check on her. Listen, Javi, Gabe... He told me some pretty messed up things. Things I need your help wrapping my head around. He shouldn't have done that. I wanted to tell you myself. Bad news is bad news. Who cares who delivers it? He told me you lost Mariana. Just a few days ago. Oh. I'm sorry, David. She's... She's gone. It's strange grieving for the same person twice. Like losing something you didn't know you had. What was she like, Javi? She was so little when we got separated. Who did my little girl become? We got along well. Her smile kept me going through a lot of rough times. That... must have been nice. How... How did she die? Tell me how it happened. Please, I need to know. She went quickly, David. Without pain. Gabe said it was people, not walkers. People 
with your mark. My people aren't in the habit of killing little girls. David, I was there. They shot Kate, too. Ask your buddy at the gate if you don't believe me. Max was a part of this? Fuck. I need details. What the hell went down out there? I need to know exactly what happened. Everything you remember. Same assholes killed a hostage at this town, Prescott. Prescott? At the airstrip? Their leader flooded it with walkers and, and tear gas. Leader? A crazy bald guy with a beard. Badger, what the fuck have you done now? I'm gonna handle that stupid son of a bitch, okay? Do me a favor, keep this to yourself. The politics here, they can get messy. I thought you were the boss. There's four of us that run, Richmond. You need to impress the other three. Or you'll be back on the road by morning. Try not to stir things up. You and your friends could have a very short stay. You wouldn't let that happen, would you? We only just got here. It's not just up to me. I run security here, but it's not like my word is law. This shit with Badger doesn't make things any easier. Who's the fresh meat? Ava. This is my brother, Javi. The baseball brother? <laughs> no shit. What are the chances of you turning up on the doorstep? Welcome to civilization. Or at least the closest thing to it these days. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ava. Oh, is it now? <laughs> you didn't say he was a gentleman, David. That's because he's not. Ava's my right hand. If there's anyone you can trust in Richmond, it's her. That woman, the fucking soldier. She was the first person I met up with after you and me got separated. I never would have made it without her. Gabe said you went back to the house. At the start. I'm sorry I never found you. Did you even try? How can you even ask that? I don't know, David. You seem like a pretty capable guy. Why didn't you come back? My ma and I got routed out of the city on the way to the hospital. It wasn't long before she... Poor mama. I couldn't get back into Baltimore, so I hooked up with my old unit. We thought we could build a safe zone outside D.C. After what happened to Mama and everyone else, I thought you were all dead. But you were taking care of them. Weren't you? Somehow you found a way. I'm not gonna lie. I never thought you had it in you. We took care of each other. And we all had each other's backs. You've changed, brother. It took the end of the world. But you finally grew up. This is where they're treating Kate. Don't get comfortable. We're not staying long. Hey! Hey, kid. Got everything you need? Uh, yeah. This place is like a resort. Check it out, Javi! Noodles in a cup! We need to get you some real food. Stat. Turn you into a soldier. <laughs> Javi... I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> get off hey, me! Up, huh? <laughs> I'm a lot better seeing you. Damn, it's good to have you back. Look at this family. Look at my wife. Isn't she the most beautiful woman alive? Come on. With the lights off, you could mistake me for a walker. A damn fine walker. Gross. I have to agree. The key word being alive. Game. Uh, what, you okay? Uh, my... oh, shit. I'll get the doc. I'm fine. 
I just needed to talk to you, alone. I'm scared, Javi, more than I was the whole time on the road. Even when I thought I was going to die, everything inside me screams to get away from here. These people are killers. And David? David threw his own brother in a cell. Yeah, I know what you mean. This place gives me the creeps. <sighs> I'm glad to hear that. I was afraid you'd been won over by the security here. It's always been you and me on the road, Javi. That's how we've made it this far. Please, promise me we'll go back to that. The first chance we get. This place. It's a cage. We can't let ourselves get locked in. It's going to get bad if we stay. I'll find the way, Kate. You have my word. Rest up. You're gonna need your strength. Thanks. I feel better. Knowing we're in this together. But please hurry. I... I don't want to be left alone here. Feeling better? How you doing, sweetheart? David reported some pain. It's less now. Strange how it just comes and goes. Doesn't seem normal. She was rambling a bit. Yeah, I, I think she's delirious. Well, she seems cogent now. But it's nothing to be alarmed about. Pain often comes in waves with abdominal wounds. <laughs> I'll give you something to take the edge off, in case it comes back. Truly superlative work. I thought I'd have to operate, but all she needed was IV fluids and some antibiotics. How did you find someone with skills like these? A wound like this kills nine out of ten. Whoever did this really knows their stuff. We got lucky. We met a group with a medic, Eleanor, just before Kate got shot. The same group in quarantine now. She's there now? We should let her out. I'll vouch for her. Agreed. I'll have Ava bring her here. I want to meet this Eleanor. I'm sure she'll be an asset to our community. You can't just cherry-pick who you want. Why don't you let them all out? Can they all perform surgery on a dirt floor with a pair of pliers and no anesthetic? There's your answer. Javi and I have to go meet some people now. See if we can't prove he's worth a damn. We're gonna take real good care of you. Okay? Send my apologies, David. I won't be able to make it. Feeling okay? Fine. I just want to keep an eye on my patient. The others know my vote is with you. Come on. Remember what I said. When we meet these guys, keep what happened to Mariana to yourself. Badger is one of my guys. And I will handle him. It may look pretty, but it's all sugars. There's no substance. It tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. Ah, the brother. Javi, meet the guys. Clint runs food production. The crops you saw, that's him and his people. Jones, our bridge to the outside world. She handles contact with other settlements. Pleased to meet you, Javi. I trust you've been treated well. I hope you haven't been handled too roughly. Some of our people left their courtesy with their old lives. <laughs> no complaints here. I get that you guys have a way of doing things. Thank you. We have to be careful. I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> we were just about to eat. Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi. Take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. Spinach from Clint's garden? <laughs> or a baked delicacy by yours truly? Well, I'm with Clint. Gotta eat your greens if you want to grow up big and strong. Ah, exactly. <laughs> at least you're being honest. 
Please, make yourself comfortable. We value straight talk here, so please, forgive me if I seem direct. We're usually pretty strict about who we open our doors to. Your brother's word counts for a lot. Is that so? The three of us, and Dr. Lingard, make all the decisions here, so... Yeah. People who choose to stay with us, they have to deal with us bossing them around. Not saying you wouldn't, but it can be an adjustment. Especially for the more independent-minded. There's no structure out there now. People get used to doing as they please. I always do what I'm told. Ask my older brother. You're gonna fit in well, Javi. I can see that already. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. Fruit? We found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah River. Hotty fucking ha. Huh? I helped him bring it back to life. We had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. That's what led us to start this. Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? It's our litmus test for loyalty. I've seen that mark a few times. You probably saw it at the gates. Right, Javi? We all took it as a sign of commitment. It was a crude answer to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We... we lost a great deal. Loved ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain, that's what keeps me awake at night. It turned me into a perpetual night owl. I know it's a lot to ask, but I never want them to have to experience loss like that again. Funny you should say that. Some of your people, they keep me awake. In fact, some of them give me nightmares. My people? I'm sorry, Javi, I don't quite follow. Max? What are you doing here? I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. Is that right? Is there bad blood between you and Max? Nothing that can't be worked out. I want to hear that from Javi. I don't have a problem with him. He's all right by me. Yeah. Same here. I don't buy it. Max, how did this start? Don't look at him. You have an obligation to tell the truth. We caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? Answer her. Did you steal gas from us? I was scavenging whatever I could find. I had no idea it belonged to you. If you just asked, we'd have given it to you. That... that's not all. Rufus said Clementine ran his truck off the road just to break him free. We had real problems with her in the past. You can always judge a man by the company he keeps. Running with that girl don't look good. I would say not. Clementine's not a bad person, at least from what I've seen. Of course you'd say that. You got that honor among thieves. This is who you're asking us to vouch for, David? Seriously? You know we can't just open our doors to bandits. We're trying to build something different here. Something resembling civilization. Everything I did out there was to protect my people. That's more than I can say for you. I'm not sure what you mean. Javi? You have something to say? One of your people, some asshole called Badger, he put a bullet in a little girl, my niece, David's daughter. What? Damn it, Javi, I told you I'd handle it. No, David, this cousin fucking dirtbag has the balls to accuse me. He and Badger destroyed an entire town. That's enough. No, we need to hear this. Go on, Javi. Sounds like you've got more to get off your chest. They killed a hostage in cold blood. A woman, Francine. Badger did that, not me. You were right there next to him. 
I tried to get him to stop, I swear! Cut off her damn finger first! Max! I tried to stop him, I swear! He was out of control! David, we warned you about getting your soldiers in line. We don't know all the facts. We know enough. She's right, David. You've lost control. I want them gone. All of them. Take Javi and everyone in the quarantine to the gate. Send them out with enough weapons to defend themselves, but no more. Look, we can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here, your doctor friend too. But the rest of you, you're gonna have to do what they say. I'm sorry. It's out of my hands. I can't leave Kate and Gabe alone. They won't be alone. I'll be here to take care of them. I can't help you now, but maybe I can down the road. Just stay alive, okay? Oh, what the fuck? We didn't do anything. I might do something here in a minute. David packed this. He did. They said- Start walking. What about Eleanor? Walk. Eat shit. Answer my fucking question. God damn it, Harvey! Let go of me! This isn't her fault, Trip. You're mad at the wrong person. Do not fuck this up. There's a settlement a few miles west of here. Don't come back. Seems your moment alone with David screwed us over pretty good. We trusted you. What the hell, man? Everything was going okay. At first. I don't know what happened back there. Yeah, well, I got a pretty good idea what's gonna happen out here. Let's just see what they gave us. Knowing them, it's probably a butter knife and a stick of gum. They could have just shot us. More than once. Oh, how fucking neighborly. What's that? It looks like a map. I doubt they give one to everyone. Ava did say David packed the bag. Why the hell is it tied to a baseball bat? David's sense of humor was always poorly timed. Looks like they're expanding. Some of these areas are marked clear. Okay. There's Richmond. That helps. But we can't go back there. Well, knowing where it is lets us know where we are. Pretty sure David wants us to go there. And if this is us here, then I think we can head along this path. Just gotta head north. And to find north... We need to find the North Star. There. The end of the Little Dipper. No. That's the Big Dipper. That's it. We need to go this way. What else is in there? Not a whole lot. Flashlight. Not enough weapons. No food. Deal with it. Take it. Please. Take it. Call it an apology. That man back there in the tunnel... That wasn't me. Take the gun. 
Conrad, don't let the past get in the way of common sense. Give him the gun, Javi. I can find something along the way. Always have. I don't like it. Let the man decide. The gun is yours, Conrad. I can handle myself. Nobody fires a single shot unless you are deep fucking fried. You hear me? We don't want to attract whatever the hell's out there. I gotta tell you, man, I thought you and Kate were, you know. I mean, I saw you kiss her in the junkyard, and uh, I ain't judging, mind you, I'm just curious. What's the story? Ain't my business, I know, but what have we got to lose out here? I... Hey, man, it's all right. Go for it. I do have feelings for her. Maybe I shouldn't, but that doesn't just make him go away. Uh, no harm in saying it. Hell, only real harms in not saying it when you should. It's always a mess, ain't it? What's that? Who you love, who loves you. If they're one and the same or otherwise. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just when you think you got everything figured out, boom, your heart goes ass over tea kettle. Yeah, you're right, goddamn mess. And it never quite washes out. Eleanor and I, we were something at some point, but nothing now. I respect her wishes. I really do. I just. Wish my heart respected mine. Jesus got his eye on something. What you got for us, man? Listen. Tell me that isn't what I think it is. About a quarter mile out. Heading the same way we are. But well, we could hit walkers any second. We better scoot. Walkers, get ready. They're near. Okay, look alive, people. I got them. Come on, man, move your ass. You want a piece of this? with this. We're even now. This is a bad idea. 
We're following David's map right into a herd. For all we know, he's trying to get rid of us. Come on, Clem. He's my brother. You can't trust him, Javi. I learned that the hard way. This brand is a lie. It's a lie that says you can trust us. You belong. They don't care about their people. They promised they'd help him. But they were gonna let him die. Clem. Dr. Lingard, what's the matter with you? Um, I'm fine. Clem, please don't. The vancomycin, that's the last of it. It'll be wasted on AJ. I told you, it could save someone's life if used right. It's too valuable to throw away. It's the only thing that can save him. Except it can't. I'm sorry, Clem. I tried everything. I... I really did. This will help him get better. Nothing can help your boy now. Oh, Clem, put the drugs back before anyone finds out you took them. You know what they do to thieves here. There's still time. I have to try. Hey, look, AJ. A bunny rabbit. <coughs> AJ, shh. What the hell is this? <coughs> I told her it was a bad idea. Are you fucking high again? Pull yourself together before the others see you. Deal with the damn kid. What the fuck were you thinking? You were told those drugs couldn't help him. How could you be so stupid? So selfish? But did you think I would just give up on him? AJ is everything to me, David. I'd do anything to keep him alive. Except there's nothing left to do. That waste? That'll cost someone's life down the road. Someone in this camp. Someone who contributes to our survival. Come on, David. She was just trying to help her kid. We helped enough! We should have left him out in the woods a week ago! But look! It's helping! It doesn't work that way, Clem. You bought him a peaceful moment. <laughs> Nothing more. 
I wish I could tell you it would save him. But that's the reality. Then it was worth it. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Without a goddamn thought for anyone else. We opened our arms to you, made you one of us. This is how you repay us? By stealing? By putting yourself before the group? You're done here. You broke our rules, Clem. Violated our trust. There's no place for you in the New Frontier. You've made that pretty damn obvious. I made the right call. One you refused to make. Well, I'm making one now. Get your shit and get out. Maybe we should give her another chance. Don't fight me on this, Paul. You know what Joan would say if she were here. I'm sorry, Clem. You brought this on yourself. Come on, AJ. We don't need this place anyway. Uh-uh. He stays. Can't take him with you. That ship has sailed. I'm not leaving without him. AJ can't travel. All we can do now is make him comfortable. I'm not leaving without him. Let him go, Clem. He'll only drag you down out there. It's what's best for both of you. No! You monsters! What about this? What was it all for? Don't forget, I'm one of you. Not anymore. Let her say goodbye. We owe her that much, at least. Fine. You heard her. Say what you need to say, then you go. other people. Again. This is what David circled on the map. Our smelly friends are back. Any of them push against this, it might give. Gotta find a way in. Here they come. I can. Uh, fuck! I can raise it a little, but I don't know, something's wrong with it. Jammed or some shit. Maybe we can force it open. We're gonna have to. Locked. Shit. Look for another way in. It's our only chance. Oh man, this thing ain't as strong as we thought. Hurry it up. Well, there's a car with no wheels. Shit. God damn it. Harvey! 
That's it. You won't go any higher. Everyone get in! Trip. Close the door. Hurry! Get that goddamn jack out of there! Damn, man! That was too close. You can say that again. David! Don't you dare let that fucking baby killer in. <gasps> Don't make me do this. Clem. Don't do it, Javi. Hey, open up. He'll die. He deserves worse. He has a son, Clem. Just like you did. <sighs> the fuck? Open it. Hello again, Clementine. How did you get caught up in all this? Ask your brother. She's trouble. Trust me. She's with me. I owe her my life. She told us some pretty ranting stuff about you, man. What did she say? That you left her to die. No, we kicked her out. A little girl, all alone out there. Do you think Mariana could have survived that? We had rules. Clem broke them. I would have done the same to anybody. She knew what would happen. Don't feel sorry for her. To anybody, huh? You broke the rules for Kate and Gabe. And I'll accept the consequences. Unlike her. Did he suffer? Please. I have to know. No. I wouldn't have let him. But I didn't have to worry about that. He lived, Clem. He lived. But how? He was dying. Clem said so. AJ bounced back. He was stronger than we thought. It was... a miracle. You're lying. That's great! Clem, this is good news! How am I supposed to believe you? Clementine, please, I'm telling the truth. Where? Where is AJ now? I don't know for sure. But he's in Richmond? Dr. Lingard took care of the boy. He'll know how to find him. Then I'm going back. None of us are going anywhere until the walker's clear. What's your plan, David? We used to store a vehicle up this way. Provisions. I came to get you set up. And? And say goodbye. I don't want you to worry about Kate and Gabe. I'll take care of my family from now on. They'll be safe with me. Not happening, David. They're my family as much as yours. Is that what you think? Last I checked, Kate was my wife and Gabe was my son. <laughs> Shit! Board it up. We need something to buffer. Something heavy. There! Help me!
Wait a half second. Where'd you find this? Over there. Show me. What the hell is all this? These could come in handy. Don't want to just take them, but... I might be going crazy, but... I think these came from Prescott. That's Phantom Punch. I don't understand how all this got here. Like you don't know. Hey, none of this stuff was here before. I don't have a damn thing to do with it. We've only ever kept a few basic supplies here for scouts, for emergencies. Your people looted this stuff from Prescott, David. Come on, we can't know that. Who else knew about this place? Your outfit is the only one that gutted my town. This is bigger than just Prescott. There's spoils from other towns here, too. Towns I heard got raided a while back. There, there's stuff here from the kingdom. Who the fuck are you? Wouldn't be in this mess if you hadn't gone all trigger happy on David's family. Take cover. Fuck him. I'd do that little bitch again just to see her head pop. You sure as hell are stupid, ain't you? You only just realizing that now? I told you. Joan is on the warpath. Last thing we need is people getting wind of all this stuff. Look at all this shit. We're freaking rolling in it. I'll give you that. Just glad we found some more smokes. That shit is the new gold. None of this shit belongs to you, assholes. David? I thought better of you, Max. I really did. David, come on, man. We're a unit. There's no need for... <laughs> 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 Stop him! He's getting away! Go! Get Badger! Shove that gas can down your throat and lit you up like a candle. But this'll do. Fucking Garcias. Oh, you, you. You shook my goddamn guts out. Um, um, fuck. Ah, oh, you messed me up good. This is for Mariana. She was a sweet little girl, just minding her own business. <coughs> Not anymore. Fuck her, and fuck you too. Easy, Conrad. He's already down. 
Remember my woman? Francine? You! You snuffed her out like she was nothing. <coughs> she was... nothing. He's finished. Get it over with. Come on. What are you waiting for? We've got to move. No point drawing it out. Conrad? What? Ain't got the guts to kill another man. No. You're not a man. You're nothing. He's all yours. Stop! Please! Raiding, looting, you betrayed who we are! You betrayed Richmond! Come on, David. This is Richmond! What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? I ain't got nothing to say! There's no use holding out, Max. The best you can do is make things right. We... we weren't doing it without support inside Richmond. Joan was in on it. We did it on her orders. She... she said we needed it to survive. I wanted to let you in, but she told me you'd never go for it. I'm... I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. Please, don't kill me. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. I'll help you get back inside. Expose her to the others. <sighs> Maybe he'll be useful. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. Where's Lonnie? He gave us the slip. Hightailed it back towards Richmond. Son of a bitch. If he warns Joan... Wasn't there one more? Won't be hurting anyone else. My people need to know about what we found here. What about your missing friends? I'm not holding out much hope. Don't have time to keep looking. They'd want me to get home and warn them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Sooner the better. You're a good guy, Jesus. That's rare. I could say the same about you. I won't forget about you. You have my word. It's a shitstorm out there, man. I don't see how you're gonna make it. One step at a time. We need to get back to Richmond fast. I have loved ones in there. We both do. We all do. I gotta break Eleanor out of there. Once she's safe, I... I'm gonna tell her how I feel. Hey, if the mess never washes out, might as well get neck deep. We're gonna need allies in Richmond. Lingard and Clint, they're our best bet. If I can get to them before Joan does, maybe we have a chance. I know I was ready to say goodbye before. But I can't do this without you. Can I count on you? I won't be able to pull this off myself. I'll back you up. But I'm doing this for Kate. Not you. Fine. As long as we get it done. If Lonnie raises the alarm, they'll be waiting for us at the gates. There's a way in round back that'll get us around any sentries. We can take Badger's truck. I doubt he'll mind. Come on, we gotta get on the move. Herd's closing in.
thinking this will go a lot better if we split up. A group this big can't exactly sneak around, particularly if they're expecting us. Eleanor's in there somewhere. I'm going after her. Then I'm coming with you. Lingard brought her to the clinic. That's your best bet. Javi, that's where you'll go to get Kate and Gabe. Then bring them to my house. It's the one with the raven on the hitching post. We'll all meet up there. After I pay a little visit to Joan. Stay out of sight. They'll be keeping an eye out for us. As soon as I can get Kate and Gabe, we'll see you back at the house. Roger that. I'll scout ahead. What about you, Clem? I'm pretty sure I've still got some friends in the New Frontier. If they know where AJ's being held, they'll tell me. As soon as I find him, I'm taking that truck and getting the hell out of here. Well, you are owed a vehicle. Keep an eye on David. He may be playing nice, but I'd still watch your back. I'm with you, Clem. He rubs me the wrong way. As soon as I get Kate and Gabe, I'm gonna figure out what's best for us. Well, I hope it involves getting far away from here. But you're no dummy. Your instincts have been right most of the time. I know you'll make the right call. See you when I see you. David said to hang a ride up at that corner. Seems clear so far. Let's move. You know Javi Garcia? Used to play shortstop for Baltimore. That Javier Garcia? That's who we're looking for? Yeah. That Javier Garcia. Anyway, sounds like some paranoid horse shit. Guy's a fucking ball player. There's the medical the center. Gonna go ninja his way back in here and stir up trouble. We go yeah, in, we get L, we get Kate and Gabe, man. we get out. All right. Not that easy, man. We've seen them make haze before, and they ain't afraid to use them. All right. Let's hang out here for a while. Smoke break. Damn it. We need a distraction. How's your throwing arm? What the fuck? Shit, we need to get the fire crew or that shit could burn down the block. You couldn't have just taken out a window. Hit the trick, didn't it? You guys find out. Tell her we're moving Kate. Sounds good. We'll meet you here. Javi! We thought you were... I was... super worried. Like... a lot. Are you guys okay? They didn't hurt you, did they? No. We're fine. They said you guys were denied entry. It's true. We're on borrowed time. The people who run this place, they're ruthless. We have to move. Where's my dad? Is he coming? Javi, where is he? Your dad's taking care of a few loose ends. And right now, he needs me to take care of you. Oh, okay. David has a house in town. He thinks we'll be okay there. Then let's go. Wait, Javi? While you were gone, this woman, Joan, came by. I felt like she was sizing me up. It was creepy. She implied David was in trouble. 
like he was no longer in charge. She kept saying Gabe and I didn't need to worry, but it only made me worry more. I got a bad feeling from her. Joan's been running this place behind David's back. She's pulling the strings. What do you mean? The people who shot you? Answer to her. She ordered raids on other settlements. We found all this stuff from Prescott. She was behind Prescott? David's rounding up allies to confront her right now. Javi, I know you know this already. This is not our fight. We already lost Mari because of these people. Now, the whole place is about to become a war zone. What? W what do you mean? The only thing I care about is keeping you safe. Then you know we can't get involved. What's going on? Tripp said we had to move to David's house. We're not doing that. We're getting the fuck out of Richmond before it's too late. Getting out? You shouldn't even be sitting up. What? W what about my dad? We can't just leave him. Gabe, we don't even know who he is anymore. We have to get away before he gets us all killed. But he, he won't know where we are. Again! I can't go back to how things were before. I'm sorry. I just can't. We're gonna go to David's house. Javi! It's the best bet we got. It's all we got. I've got a gun in the room they gave me. Sounds like we might need it. I'll come with you. We'll catch up with you guys. Sounds good. Don't. I didn't see Clem with you guys. Is she okay? I know, I know, she's tough, but... I don't know. It'd be nice to hear she's all right. If we run into her, she could really use a friend right now. Yeah. Me too. We need to go. Okay? Okay. You know this is what David lives for, right? What? A brawl. I only ever saw him truly happy when he was talking about being at war. The world going to shit? I guarantee. That was the best day of his life. He gets to live life on the front line. I'm sure it's like Christmas every morning. He definitely could get pretty warlike from time to time. My jaw still aches occasionally. No, I'll bet it does. Took your damn time. Come on, we have to hurry. Wait a second. David told us to come here. He's talking to the others now. Trust me, shit's about to fly. He's gonna need our help. We gotta get on the move. He's waiting for us. There's no more time to lose. Get them to safety first. Then we can go. This is the best way to protect them. They'll be safe here, don't worry. I'll come back for you. Both of you. You better. I don't like your tone, David. If this is about your brother... Don't pretend like you don't know what this is about. You've got a lot to answer for. Me? You must be joking. Javi! Kate and Gabe? Safe. I knew I could count on you, brother. We're gonna fix this. Together. Of course. Kate and Gabe are safe. I got your back. Thank you. It means a lot that you do. What's going on here? We're just getting started. You smuggled your brother into Richmond despite what we agreed. Clearly, 
You have no respect for any of us. This is serious, David. You know we can't let this go. You don't deserve respect. Not after the things you've done. What things? What's this all about? She's been ordering raids on peaceful communities, sending your men to murder and loot. Raiding? Joe, is this true? <laughs> He's pointing the finger at everyone. First Badger, now me. That's a serious charge. You come in swinging, you better have proof. Here's our proof. This lowlife was part of the raids. I... Well, Max, what do you have to say? We had a deal, Max. Your life for the truth. I didn't forget. Then what are you waiting for? Me, Badger, and, and Lonnie, we ran the ops. Off Jones' orders. God damn it, Max. I'm washing my hands of this, man. Joan, how could you? The real question is, how could I not? What would happen to us without your fertilizer, Clint? Or your pills, Paul? Do you think our community would survive? I did what I had to, to ensure that we would. It wasn't easy. But someone had to do it. So you survived. But at what cost? Do you even know how much suffering you've caused? I've no doubt it's less than I've prevented. All of you remember the winter. How much we lost. Friends. Lovers. Children. I made a promise I would never let that happen again. The raids were just to keep us going till Richmond reached sustainability. We're so close. So close to our dream. Do we really want to risk it all by fighting amongst ourselves? We should all be on the same side of this, David. On Richmond's side. Surely you can see that. Prospering off the suffering of other people? That's no way to live. No way at all. You're damn right about that. We lost Mariana to those raids. How many others lost their kids too? I'm sorry, David. It breaks my heart about your child. It's... It's something I'm going to have to live with. Take them! What the hell? Put them in a cell until I can figure out what to do with them. Don't you fucking touch me! That's an order! They don't take orders from you anymore, David. You're done here. You put yourself before the group. You won't get away with this, Joan. All of this will come back on you eventually. Paul, come on! I'm sorry. My hands are tied. This is not over, Joan. I have friends here. Allies.
strike one. I'm out of practice, that's all. Yeah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. <sighs> oh, yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. You doing okay? Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey, man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? <laughs> if you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. I, I watch you play all the time. Sure thing, kid. Oh, man! Thank you! Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no. N no names. Band players' signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. Just your name is fine. D don't date it or anything. <sighs> Hope you like it. Oh, yeah! I might get ten bucks for this! You gotta keep those fans happy, big star. Let's get back to baseball. Well, it's out of here! Holy cow! You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah. You should try it. Son of a bitch! Strike two. Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. It's annoying. Oh, wow. Oh, sorry, David. Look, it's cool you're trying to cheer me up. Really? I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, and avoid batting cages forever. Well, thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed the distraction. Oh, Garcia's on fire! I think your ego's boosted plenty. Next time, we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot. But I do. And I'm good at it. You gotta shut up! Stupid thing. My arm's throbbing. Oh, come on. Don't be a wuss. <laughs> I used to tell you the same thing. You did? Yeah. Back when we were younger. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. Oh my god, the crowd is going wild! I got it. You don't have to rub it in my face. I'm done. David. David, what's wrong? Come back. I came here to reconnect. Instead, you just want to show me up. What's going on? David, I, I don't understand. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. You've always been looking out for yourself. You tried to help me. Yeah, let me help you. You really want to help? All right. Drive me down to the recruitment office next week. The army? My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had a purpose there. I had respect. Last time you deployed, you didn't have kids. So, whatever you do now, you gotta put them first. I am putting them first. That's why I have to leave. Things between me and Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. Not anymore. No, the kids are too young for you to leave them. You gotta be around to, you know, coach them on stuff. What the hell do you know about raising children, Javi? I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? 
You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. In my mind. I'll be there for them, since you won't. If you want to go, you should go. <sighs> Thank you. I really mean it. We good? Yeah. We good. Come on. Let's get out of here. Buy your beer. Get in there. I let you go. On the road, remember? Can't you help us now? Of course I remember. That's why I haven't shot you already. That's how I'm helping you. Joan's making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you tried to attack her. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell them... And that's your mistake right there. You can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this. But you've got to let Joan enforce the laws. I know you Richmond folks are a little flexible when it comes to doing what's right. I don't buckle just because it's the easy thing to do. You talk a big game, but talk isn't going to get you out of this mess. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. This is bad. What are we gonna do? I never trusted Joan. I didn't think she'd turn on me like this. David, hey! I thought I had it handled. All of this is my goddamn fault. I should have seen it coming, but I dropped the ball. Big time. Joan lied. You couldn't have anticipated that. It was a sneak attack. I'm glad you see that. You may be the only one. I keep doing this, making the same stupid mistakes. You're still a hero to Gabe. There's still a lot you can teach him. This world needs all the heroes it can find. That's my boy. Listen to me carefully. I don't care what's gonna happen to me. I'm most worried about Kate and Gabe. They gotta survive. No matter what. You don't have to worry. They're safe for now. We have to get them out of town. Both of us. You're right. No matter what we do, Jones already poisoned this well. We've got to figure a way out of Richmond. All of us? All of us. This time tomorrow, we'll be together and safe. You never give up on anybody. And I'm not going to give up on you. So glad to see you boys getting along. Armed escort? You're that scared to face me? Oh, David. I'm not scared of you. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not gonna be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion. Between us. I won't be a problem if you let us go. In fact, I may even be friendly. I'm sorry. I can't do that. <laughs> but I like what you're trying to do. It's sad how we ended up here. But Clinton Lingard agree. You've become a problem. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. David deserves a fair shot. He doesn't need to be replaced. If he was as good as you say, he wouldn't be in this position, would he? You set me up. Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. We'll debate all of this in the morning. Right now, David, I need to ask you some questions. In private. Bring him with us.
Screw this. Gotta get out of here. Ugh, nothing useful here. Could squeeze through there. Hmm. I'm not gonna get up there from this bench. That doesn't look very sturdy. everywhere for you. Gabe? Where'd they take Dad? I don't know yet. Help me get out of here. These bars are loose. Help me pry them off. I can't do it. Can you help? Nice work, Gabe. Now, give me a hand. What's all that noise? It's a herd. They're outside the walls. This way. Come on. Kate didn't want to stay at Dad's house. Where are you taking me? Eleanor found a place. She sent me to find you. While they hide out. Is Kate doing okay? Yeah, she's fine. And Eleanor's watching her just in case. We should probably keep moving. I can't believe you found me. I looked everywhere. Huh. Nice work. Thank you. They've still got your dad, though. He's gonna be okay, right? I mean, these are his people. They're just arguing, aren't they? They wouldn't do anything to him. I'm working on that. To tell you the truth, things don't look so good for him right now. What? Then we have to help him. We gotta meet up with the others first. All clear. Come on. Kate keeps pushing us to leave. You have to make her stay. We have to stay until Dad's free. We can't leave Dad here. Not after we found him again. I'll talk to her. I'll try to convince her. Good. It's important. Hold up. gone wrong here, hasn't it? We should be safe in this town. You shouldn't be a prisoner. We'll fix it for us when we get your dad back and our family back together. Okay. That's Eleanor's place. And we made it. Great. Let's get in there.
Oh, that was close. Yeah. This wasn't so busy before. What are they up to? Come on. Let's get inside. I've been thinking hard about this, and I really think we should be a thing. I'm sorry. I don't know if I feel like that. That way. Look, I just don't know. It's shown me that I'm good at helping people. I can do that here. But I missed I you. Do anything here. I missed you too. They don't want any of the rest of us like they want you. Would you be happy never seeing me again? So what about me? Trip. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. But They've escalated past their same old me. usual argument. Never this heard it this important. bad. That's some rough shit right there. Important to me. I'm gonna try to get some shut eye. I just can't do this now. Oh. Hey. Uh, hey. Trip, look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, <clears throat> where have you been? It's not important. Uh, don't worry about it. Well, that's messed up, Javi. We're all in this together, if you hadn't noticed. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. What do we do? We just can't trust Joan. She's trying to remove David from power by pinning murders on him. Told you we couldn't trust him. I'm sorry about what's going on with David, but we should have gotten out of here when we had the chance. We still need to get out of here, Javi. Let's go. We need a plan. We almost got caught last time when we just made a run for it. Have you guys even looked out the window? Go look for yourself. Oh. Holy shit. Javi, even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Look at that. We should have left when we had a chance. Now we're stuck here. No 
I'm sorry. I should have left with you. I think the entire world's fucked right now. It seems like we're in danger within this place and without. I, for one, would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. That the smartest move to make right now? That's crazy. We'll need to make sure we can defend ourselves. No matter what we do next, okay? Defend? That's all you're doing? I don't want to risk us losing anybody else. But you don't seem to mind that. They will be coming for us. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. The armory. Good idea. A small group should go. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here as soon as we can. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be careful. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. You know what I mean? It happens, especially these days. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Just... Shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already, right? Javi, come on! Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just, I don't know what to do. Just follow your heart. That's all any of us have left anymore, right? Thanks, man. I'll talk it over with Eleanor, and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. Javi, come on! Good luck. Stay frosty, gents. What's that mean? Mike, stay cool, buddy. Looks like Bob's on duty. I'll distract him away from the door and meet you inside. Be careful in there. There might be more of them. Remember what I said about staying cool? I've done this before, Avi. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? <sighs> yeah, I think I do. How can we trust Ava that she won't turn us in? Can we really trust her? I trust her enough for right now, and that's what's important. How do you know when you can trust someone? I feel like I've never really known anyone, other than you and Kate, Mariana, and what I remembered of my dad. Through their actions, they can try to confuse you with their words, but someone worth your trust does good things. Makes sense. I think we're up. She sure is a big help. Ava said it'd be this way.
It's down here. The guns are through that door. Locked. No time to look for a key either. Have to do this the hard way. Put these in your bag. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle nephew one two punch. Yeah, we do. Sorry to scare you. When we get back to Eleanor's, we need to talk to those people about doing the right thing by this place. I'll meet you at the entrance. You're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my god. I'll be fine. Are you sure? I'm so sorry. Yes, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. We have to get back to the others. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody sees him. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Clem? <gasps> Shh. 
Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Who were you expecting? I know this wouldn't exactly look innocent to Joan or David. Is it innocent? Yes, I guess, I think so. I'm mostly here to talk with Lingard about where AJ is now. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. All right. Go for it. But if I lose my arm, that's on you. Ha ha. You'll be fine. I've dealt with worse. Huh. <sighs> Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. <clears throat> Clem. Are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. It's totally normal. I, I mean, it's something female women have. It's, uh, what's next? It's not fun, I know that, but Kate manages. You, you'll be fine, too. Manages? How? I'm bleeding. It's supposed to happen. You'll be fine, Clem, I, I promise. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. <sighs> Wake up! Talk to me! <sighs> wow. That guy is really out of it. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. Cody. Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. No thanks. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. Here we go. Just pills. Hey, this is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. Think I remember how to do this. Okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Kenny used to say, 
I was a natural born mother. It's a butterfly. <laughs> Goofball, want another? Which one to do next? Hmm. How about hippity hoppity? <laughs> Is that our dinner? That's a pretty good rabbit. Always used to do that one for Duck. He'd laugh his ass off. Ah, oh, shit. Hey, grab the lighter out the duffel, will you? Just a second, goofball. Voila! Hey! Get away from him! Is he okay? Still not bitten, little guy. You know, first time I saw you holding AJ, it just looked so natural. Somewhere up there, his mama is looking down on you. Grateful for what you're doing. Always putting him first. You've done as much for AJ as I have. Rebecca would be grateful for you, too. Yeah, but you're the only mama he's got. Protective, loving, caring. All the things a good parent needs to be, and all at your age. But parenthood is a hell of a motivator, though. <laughs> That's for sure. That kind of love. It's worth dying for. I guess that's what Katya felt when Duck... Well... Well, that was a, a long time ago. Ooh... Kids as sick of the cold as I am. So I've been thinking... It's no use surviving out here, hoping that Wellington will take us in someday. I bet we find some good people down in Florida. Maybe even a little friend for this goofball. Wouldn't that be nice? We could use the company. Hell, I know I could. Anywhere's better than here. I don't think I can stand another day of snow. We'll find you a playmate in no time, kid. I remember when you and Duck used to color together back at the motel. Life doesn't mean much without people you can relate to. Sarita always said, family is what you make it. She was right. I'm sorry for all this sappy shit. I guess I'm just happy. Huh. First time in a while. All right, all right, all right. Enough sap, Kenny. <laughs> How about this one, little man? <laughs> We've got each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay.
Who's there? All right, all right. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I am. What happened wasn't easy for any of us. Tell me he's okay. Please. He's as good as he can be. Which isn't great. Look, it's not much, but... Here. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you... It calmed him down. This... Thank you. You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering? We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen. It's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. Oh, I'll keep fighting. You guys gave me no other choice. It's not time for that anymore, Clem. Your focus has to be on you now. That's all you can do. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. They're out there. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head, helping me, guiding me. He's still with you, you know, here. So is AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. It's what keeps the rest of us going. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. <sighs> I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. Remember to keep the focus on you now, Clem. And when you need a little extra support, there's an old airfield, about ten or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. I owe you one. Add it to the pile.
You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotting in a cell with David. There any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries, she's a cruel bitch. There's a chance, but I don't know how good it is. They separated us, and I don't know where they took him. Figures. You... You were lucky, that's all. When Joan wants something, she... She gets it. Can't say the same for me. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. The fact of the matter is, David's been good for AJ, among others. Clem can be the judge of that. She doesn't need to be. As a doctor, I'm telling you, He's in better shape now than when I first saw him. That was because he was sick. He would have stayed sick too if I had listened to you, Doctor. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about then. You... You want to know where the boy is? What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Hang in there. Tomorrow's another day. I, I can't. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. Javi, I have to know. I've been looking for too long. I can't lose him now. Not when I'm this close. I'm sorry, Clem. We can't do this. No, I have to. If you won't, I will. Clem, stop. He's not in his right mind. You can't do this. <clears throat> Let go of me. I'm taking the deal. We'll find AJ, just not this way. There is no other way! Where is... You can consider the deal. Oh. No! Javi! How could you? So be it. It's your funeral. Especially now. Now that Joan's rounding up all alleged traitors, you better hope she doesn't find you. Hang in there, buddy. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. 
Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. Javi, you're back. And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Thanks. Conrad? No, I'm, I'm cool. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's got to be a stressful job. Looking after an entire community? Can't say I approve of the way he blows off steam, though. The guy's clearly an addict. He was destroyed when we got there. It would be sad if it wasn't so reckless. It's pathetic is what it is. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just cause they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. We can't just wait around here to get shot, that's for damn sure. We have to help my dad. Hey, we can do this. Yeah. We've gotten out of tougher jams before, haven't we? I mean, sure. But this is different. We can't just cut and run. Not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated from us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. If there are good people left in Richmond who are against what Joan's doing, we need to ask for their help. If we can talk to the people at the trial, present the case to everyone in Richmond, we might not have to do this on our own. We light the match, the people do the rest. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are going to be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. <laughs> I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing? Nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. You should have told me as soon as you got in. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. Oh, I thought you guys were gonna be careful out there. Hey, don't worry about it. It is what it is. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. Hey, 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 slow down, would you? You're getting way ahead of yourself. Who's to say you're even coming along, kid? Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh! 
God, this is bullshit. I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. No way anybody is dying. Not today. That's why we have to take the time to talk it through. So everybody comes out okay. Nobody here is gonna let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Before you all make any decisions about who's coming and who's staying and who's gonna do what, I just wanted to say, I'm sitting this one out. What are you talking about, Conrad? I'm sorry about David. I am. I just don't particularly care what happens to the folks here in Richmond. It's not my community, not my problem. I got what I came here for. That's not the kind of man I want to be. Just got to figure it out. Who the new Conrad is. All right. I get it. You came with us far enough. I see what you're doing, but I just can't take the risk. I'm going to get some things together and find some place to wait out the herd. I'll attract less attention if I'm by myself. Conrad. Man. Hey, no goodbyes. I'll see you on the other side, brother. I'll see you. Okay, so you want to dive bomb Joan and save the day. Do we have to leave? This place is comfortable. Hell yeah, we're out of here. A handful of people against everyone out there. Everything out there. That's doable. Probably. We can do this. I know we can. We've got the guns, we've got a plan, and soon we're gonna have that truck. So let's get started. Hell, I'm still in. I promised David I'd always have his back. Let's do it. Without Conrad, you guys need me. And you know it. Sure as hell seems that way. Me, Clem, Kate, and Gabe will go after the car. Me and Eleanor, we'll get some supplies together. Here, take a walkie. I'll let everyone know when things kick off. Ava, you take the other one and keep checking in. No matter what. I'll get my stuff and meet you at the square. Okay, let's move out. Clem, you come with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. Let's go. I think I should go with you, actually. That wasn't the plan, Gabe. Actually, I was kind of hoping you'd be willing to watch my back on this one. Don't want to get surprised while I'm out there. Yeah. Okay. I guess somebody needs to be a lookout. What? Nothing. Gabe and I will be fine back here. Listen, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but if we don't work together as a team, we all fail. You don't have to say anything. I get it. I shouldn't have freaked out. I was sick of being pushed aside. I hope... 
You can trust me again. I'll do whatever you need me to do. But Javi? Yeah? Quit treating me like a kid. This thing looks like it moves too slow for an escape. What's going on? Thanks. For what? Helping out with Gabe. He's having a rough time. Yeah, we all are. I'm just doing what I can. Let's keep looking for that truck. You got it. Guess they'll be using that for construction once they've cleared this area. There it is. Let's go. Chances. I'd say about 50-50. Smart ass. They say how long it's gonna take for them to finish up here? People keep getting pushed up all the front. They're much behind. Hell yeah. This graveyard ship is killing me. Oh, let me get some of that. Early risers. Come on, we gotta hurry and finish before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? Can't start the engine, not without attracting a lot of attention. Kate, you steer. The rest of us are going to get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. Ready? Ready. Ready. Turns out you needed me after all, huh? I'm just saying, I know you didn't want me to come along. If I'd stayed behind, maybe we wouldn't have been able to get the truck. You know, I'm just trying to keep you safe, don't you? Uh, yeah, but... But nothing. <clears throat> you want to keep doing stuff like this, you gotta learn how to follow directions. I don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. I put it in neutral. Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. Try not to shock yourself. Shit. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Just try to hurry, okay? there. Keep an eye out while I get it started, okay? I'll check on the guys in the office. Clem and I will look out for walkers. Okay. Here goes.
Wire cutter should help with this. Gotta connect the battery to the ignition. Let there be light. Square is a couple of blocks away. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. <sighs> That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. Really Where takes you back, doesn't it? Just you and me and Gabe and Mari. Better times. You're right. This is nice. Like if I just close my eyes, we're right back where we were. All of us together. Do what I do. Try to think about the nice stuff. Not everything that happened after. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. He light likes her. You get it? Well, okay, I sort of am. Okay. I hope it works out for them. I really do. They're good for each other. I think. Think their first official date will be target practice? Then skinning and eating a wild animal. Ah, uh, young love. It's so normal, you know? Like, as crazy as things get, as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid, there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet. But to feel something that intensely for another person, kind of like the best drug there is. Well, one of the best drugs. Is it bad if I kind of envy them? Those early days, before you get up the courage to say exactly what's on your mind? You never get those back, do you? No. No, you don't. It's unfair, that's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and... When that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. I just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given them that. Him and Mari, both. They deserved better than this. Better than what got handed to them. That's why we're doing this thing, right? So he can have a better life after everything's said and done? You're right. I know you're right. I hope you know, Javi. Having you there with me, right by my side, all this time. That's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. You didn't run away. You could have. But you didn't. I'm here so I can set an example for people. For Gabe especially. Someone to be proud of. Someone who sticks around. I get it. 
There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments, you and I. And they're always a little hot and a little confusing and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. But before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'd really like to know before things get crazy. We might not get another chance. <laughs> no pressure or anything, all right? Well, maybe I should have stayed quiet. Let's go for it. We gotta try, right? Oh my god, really? Really. So are we gonna... Okay. Yeah. Shit. We're doing this. You do realize we're gonna have to have a weird conversation with David, right? It's the right way to play this. He already got the sense I was pulling away. I just want to be able to tell him in person. It'll feel better that way. That would be the stand-up thing to do in this situation. Can I just say how lame doing the stand-up thing is, though? Oh, it's super lame. Javi, it's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. You've got to get over here, now. Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square... Shit. We gotta get over there. Now. I'm going to hang back here, with the truck. Keep the walkie close by. We'll tell you as soon as we've got David. Good luck. Nothing else from Ava? Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into. Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? I hate not knowing. Could be Tripp and Eleanor had second thoughts about this whole thing. It's not their fight. Maybe. No way. They wouldn't have done that to us. You never know with some people. We're not gonna know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? Ready as I'm gonna be. Glad to hear it. for the others, can we? For years now, Richmond has been governed by one simple principle. Strong council, strong community. But, unfortunately, the actions of one of the members of that council, our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all She's in lying to all of you! I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. Just look what he's done. He murdered this man in cold blood. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless, this cruel? Not if I have anything to do with it. can't believe this is really happening. She's going to kill him. She can't do this to him. He's kept him safe. Try to keep your cool. Joan's smart, but we're smarter. We just have to be careful. We can't screw this up, Avi. 
Javier! I'd heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Don't make me ask twice. Happy to. Been waiting for this all day. Then I'll try not to disappoint you. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend, Eleanor, last night. Isn't that right, Eleanor? That's... that's right. She said you were coming here to rally the people against me. Convince them that I was no good for Richmond. Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off. Considering it's all of us against the three of you. But I guess hope springs eternal. And that's exactly what I'm planning to do. Appreciate the honesty. Which makes this so much harder. Here in Richmond, people who put themselves before the group don't last long. Bring them out. Get away from me. You're making a mistake. Ava! Oh no, they had them this whole time. David wanted to tear this whole place down. He told his people where to find our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? Something like that? I can't just let it go. You've put me in a no-win situation here. So I'm going to do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. No! Hell no! Joan! Don't! Not after what they tried to do. You may be guilty of bringing them into this, but they chose to go along with it. Is this the kind of leadership you've got in store for Richmond? Torturing people with your stupid power games? Justice isn't a game, Javi. It's about time you learn that. Joan, are you sure about this? We never agreed to killing all these people. It's really up to Javi, isn't it? All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Boys? <gasps> Come on, Javi. Who's it gonna be? Your friend or your brother's lieutenant? Oh, come on! This is fucking stupid! You can't be serious. God damn you, Joe. Do the right thing, Javi. How could you do this? Let Ava live. David believes in her, and so do I. Javi! No! I fucking trusted you, Javi. And now you're throwing me under the bus? You go to hell. Shoot her. Wait! I said don't shoot Ava! You did, but there's something else you need to understand. Betrayal. Joan, think about what you're doing. Ava's one of us. You can't fucking do this. This is fucked. I can do anything I want. You brought this on yourself. Do it. You can't... No! Oh, my God. They really shot her. Oh, God damn it. Now, David, it's your turn. I can't believe this. This isn't how we do things. This is madness. Stop her, Clint. Is this the process you trusted? No. Think about this, Javi. You know what's going to happen here. You ready for that? We don't murder in Richmond. We exile. That's how we've always done things. How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go far away from Richmond, and then whatever you do is up to you. I'm sure the herd outside would like that. She thinks she's sending us out there to die. She's counting on it. Everybody, put your guns away. We're going to handle this peacefully. 
Don't listen to them, Javi. They're fucking butchers, all of them. Shoot that bitch. Take her out. She deserves it. If you don't do it, I fucking will. Let me out of here. I'll tear her apart. Go to hell, Joan. You son of a bitch! Get back here! Gabe, I need you to cover me. We gotta make things right. Okay. Dad needs us. We gotta get out there. David's not thinking right. What's worth more? His revenge or your life? I... I think you're right. <laughs> Shit! I gotta help her! God damn it! Just go! I'll try and cover you. We had a way out of this, Javi. Why did you have to go and shoot her? Shit, get down! I hear gunfire! What the hell is going on over there? Are you guys okay? Do you need a pickup? Or do you have things under control? Stay away from the square! It's too risky! We'll come to you! I... I can't hear you! It's too loud! <laughs> Well, this is a hell of a situation, isn't it? Don't look so surprised, okay? Didn't get as far as I thought I would, that's all. Conrad! You have no fucking idea how glad I am to see you. Yeah, yeah, don't get all mushy on me. I really was headed out, but something made me turn back. Good thing I did, huh? <coughs> it's Kate! She's coming for us! Oh, God! Javi, you've got to get over there before... Kate!
While we're still breathing, Javi. I'm letting the bones speak to me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I think I can hear them. They're saying, You're gonna lose, come mierda, so play already. I must have inherited patience from Ma. Oh, come on, man. Calm down, David. If he plays his last bone... You're out of the will, Javier. Kicked out of baseball. Can't play dominoes. What exactly are you good at again, Javi? At least I can actually play baseball. Slugger. That's enough, both of you. It's not Javi's fault he's a disgrace to the game of dominoes. I won. That's ten bucks you owe me. Both of you. I know you're broke, Javi. You should sit out the next game, since we all know I'm gonna win. No shame in surrender. You'd all understand. Now, don't break your hand patting yourself on the back. I'll beat you next time. Should you even be betting on these games? Isn't that what got you in trouble to begin with? Do we need to have an intervention? Now, keep on talking, David. See what happens. Hey, hey, this is Domino's. Winning means you get to be a little bit of a pendejo. <laughs> Pay up, little brother. If you can. I'll cover for Javier. Oh, is it your turn to do that now? I lost track. Poor, helpless Javi. Get my wallet, mijo. Keep an eye on him. You don't want him snatching an extra 20 for gas money. It's on the counter. Yeah, sure, Pa. Pa? What's this? Hey! Man, I was reading that. What? Wait, what's up? What the fuck is this? None of your business. He has cancer. What? Bob, really? I'm old. Old people get cancer. You didn't need to know. That's not for you to decide. Oh my God. Jesus, Pa. I'm so sorry. Be sorry for your domino skills. How bad? It's okay, mijo. Ask me. How bad is it? You won't have to worry about paying me back that ten bucks. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, Pa. Hey, settle, David. Now. You haven't told Mama. And neither will either of you. You hear me? Mouth shut. That's not okay, Pa. You have to tell her. <sighs> when the time is right, I, I will. That's not good enough. It's good enough for me. You're gonna need her help with this, Pa. Driving you to the doctor, getting prescriptions. Wait, what are your options? Treatment, stuff like that. Chemo, radiation. All that expensive mierda. Great. When do you start? I turned it down. Turned it down? You don't get to turn it down. So much money and for what? Another month. Another game of dominoes to lose. It's not worth it. If I was still playing ball, I could have paid for it. I'll pay for it. It's not happening. Save your money. Fuck the money. I can afford it. You can afford it, David. But my pride can't. Let's play another game. You are a fucking coward! A selfish coward! Javi, can you believe this shit? David, I get it, man. It's not fair, but come on, take it easy. Sit down. Both of you. You know, I pray for daughters. Every night your mother was pregnant with both of you. Please, God, a daughter. Anything but a son. Anything but another me. Anything but another hot-headed idiot with his heart in the right place. Anything but another foolhardy, handsome gambler. Anything at all. Please, Papa. Don't give up. Fight. Fight for our name, for our blood, for our family. Please, fight. 
You have to fight, Pa. We don't just give up, any of us. Okay. Okay? Okay. I'll think about it. Oh, thank you, Pa. Thank you, Javi. Now can we play another game? I'll grab some more beers. So, what are you really gonna do? Truth be told, whatever gets your mother off my ass. You think you two were mad at me for keeping secrets? Hm. But it's good to see you and David on the same side of things, or a change. I'm gonna be a name carved in stone before you know it, Javier. That'll be me. Letters on a rock that nobody wants to visit. I know you think you're strong enough to handle that alone. And so does your brother. And you're both wrong. You have to take care of each other. You two are all I'll leave behind. Like Gabe and Mariana will be for David. Legacy, Javier. It's all anyone leaves behind. That and their bones. Be brothers before it's too late. That's not too much to ask. One last favor for your old man. Okay, Pa, I'll try. As hard as you can? As... as hard as I can. I still need to pay, David. Pa. Oye, if you had just won the game, we wouldn't have had this problem. <laughs> so you're blaming me for all this? I'm depending on you, mijo. We both are. here. She must have gotten out. If something's happened to her, if you've gotten her... You better hope she's alive. Shut up for once and help me find her. What do you think I'm doing? Kate! 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 David, wait! So glad Javi, you're... thank God you're all right. I'm just glad you're still in one piece. Thanks for making it back to me. You're alive. I thought I lost you back there. Same. What the hell's the matter with you two? Focus on your surroundings. There's Gabe and Clem. Lead the way, Javi. Gabe. 
Get the knee! Like this! Nice! I got a great teacher. You guys all right? Yeah. I I'm fine. Look at them! There's so many! We'll be safer inside. Get in! That should hold them for now. You put up a good fight out there. Hey, Dad. I'm glad you made it out. Joan's probably looking for us. No, she isn't. Javi shot her. What? Good riddance. You were negotiating. I heard you. You didn't have to shoot. Everyone started panicking and shooting. We almost died. I shot her so we could save David. End of story. So why didn't she just shoot you? You were outnumbered. They only attacked after you pulled the trigger. Javi's right. Joan had to go. I would have done it too. That's because you don't mind killing people, do you? I'm tired of being told people had to die. It's bullshit. Gabe, that's not fair. Hey, you do not walk away from me. When someone speaks to you, you stand up and answer them. Even if you don't want to. David, that's enough. He's not a little boy. He doesn't need that from you. What he needs is to learn to keep his opinions to himself until he understands what the hell he's talking about. I'm just... I'm trying to protect you, Gabe. I lost you once. I won't let it happen again. Okay? We made it through alive. Let's just be glad about that. We need to check the other entrances. Make sure we're safe. Gabe, wanna help me out? Javi? Gabriel! I'll help you, Gabe. Let's go. No. We don't need you. I'll help, too. O okay Hey, Clem's with them. It's fine. It's not that. It's... let's just... <sighs> I'm all over the place. I need to focus on something. Anything. Just need to focus. On... Whatever. Let's just go upstairs. The further we are from these doors, the happier I'll be. I just want to get as much distance between us and the muertos as I can. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Oh my god. This is a fucking nightmare. Mommy, it's them. I'm glad Mariana didn't live to see this. To see what her father's become. To see what I've done. She'd be just like that little boy. Scared that the monsters are coming after her next. She would never trust us again. And I wouldn't blame her. Kate, come on. We're not monsters. I don't know who we are anymore. But it's not the people she knew. I did this to them. That hole is there because of me. This is all my fault. I'm just as responsible for it as you are. You weren't behind the wheel, Javi. It's different. I can't leave until I make this right. All of this. Let's fix this. As best we can. All right, Kate. Let's make things right. I don't know if it's actually possible. But I feel a lot better knowing you're there, too.
You've got a lot of nerve showing up here, after the bullshit you pulled. You're unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. We're here to help. Let's settle this and focus on that. You want to help. <sighs> yeah, that's laughable. Why did you tell Joan what we were doing? I was triaging a bad situation. Their doctor is barely functioning. And before you guys fucked it all up, their walls worked. It's not only about me. I can actually save lives here. Not just stitch them up and hope for the best. These people will die without me, Javi. I know she... Well, fucked us over. But she's trying to help them. She's trying to make something right. That's worth forgiving, right? She's trying. That counts. Eleanor is one of us. Maybe she forgot it. But I haven't. Thank you, Javi. We should try to help. Not everyone here is guilty. Fern. Is that you, darling? I'm here, handsome. Fern and Rufus. What's wrong with him? Bitten. He's slipping in and out of delirium. We have to find Ida. We have to find our daughter. I... I know that. These poor people. Let them have a minute. It's the least we can do. Y'all get over here. You gotta... Cut his arm off. It's too far along. I'm sorry. Bullshit! It can work. I've seen it. Do you want his last moments alive to be more painful than they need to be? I just want to try. I can't lose everyone. Please. I'm begging you. Please. No way. I'm not a doctor. They're the only ones who should do that. I already said no. He's gonna fucking die! Fern. You need to put him down when he turns. That's an order. I want to help you. Okay. Well... What the- We're all fucking dead because of you! Hey, easy. You We're... blew a hole in our wall! Got my little girl killed! Got my whole fucking family killed! Richmond was fine until your stupid easy ass for... showed up. We're dead fucking meat, David. Might as well take out this asshole while I can. Fern. Shut up! Put it down. You don't want to hurt anyone. Just like you put it down for Joan! Stand down. That's an order. Kate, no! Fern, this is all because of me. I caused the explosion. I killed your daughter. Please, forgive me. It's my fault. Please. Please, forgive both of us. David. Oh my God. Dad. You're welcome, Javi. That dead guy. David, what are you doing? This isn't right. David. Oh my God. This is unacceptable. She wasn't going to shoot. Believe me, she was. Because I would have. No! David. Gabe. I I I'm sorry. That was an accident. You were going to kill her. She was going for her gun! Look at her! <laughs> Gabe, I'm... She can't even stand up! What the hell is wrong with you? It was over the line, Gabe. You're right. Gabe. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to do that to you. You know that. Why the hell are you all looking at me that way? They're just... They're scared, David. Of what? 
I'm protecting them. Then why are you pointing a gun at us? So I'm all alone. Fine then. You people are on your own. Such an asshole. I've seen that look in his eyes before. You should go after him. David? What are you doing? That's a long way down. You'll fall fast, but you'll fall all the same. Come over here. Or are you afraid of me too? I know the rest of them are. Right? I'm a lot more afraid of falling. And I'm even more afraid of landing. There's nothing to be afraid of. It'd be over in an instant. My wife, Javi. My son. They look at me differently. Maybe you're seeing them differently. I want to show you something. Stand with me. Uh, why the hell are you smiling? See that sewer line over there? Perfect placement for a trench. That hill, about a hundred paces west of it. Sniper's wildest dream come true. I'm a soldier, Javi. I see this landscape like a painter sees a blank canvas. Like how you used to see a baseball diamond. I'm a soldier. This makes sense to me. I was made for this. I thrive in this. Maybe it's crazy. But sometimes crazy things make sense. If only a little. I'm surprised you understand. A soldier isn't a husband. Or a father. A soldier is a soldier. Nothing else. Nothing. Nothing at all. Call yourself whatever you want. I still see you as my brother. That is kind of you to say, Javi. I wish... I wish I had your heart sometimes. I want to change, Javi. I always have. Really? All you ever tried to do was get me to change. <sighs> Only because I couldn't bring myself to do it first. It's the one war I could never win. And I'm wondering why. Is it because I don't know how? Or because it's impossible to change who you really are. There's a way. There always is. No matter how lost you are. You just have to keep looking until you find it. Looks pretty messy. For now. Maybe you're right. Maybe. Just gotta live long enough to find out. Just like with anything else. I did what you asked. You did. Thanks for that. So now, will you step back? <laughs> sure. I found them! They're up here! Be careful, Javi. I ran into... He was still outside when we checked on the entrances. The muertos were everywhere. We got him inside just in time. So we let him in. There were so many muertos out there. Thank God you're okay, man. I I was worried. Uh, trip. About earlier. Yeah, about that. I ain't gonna punch you in the teeth. Though, I got every right. Really? Figured you'd put up a little bit of a fight. Oh, I'd love nothing more, but... I just... 
Can't shake this slippery feeling I got. Like I'm standing in shoes that don't quite fit. You picked me to die, and someone else did instead. Ain't sitting right. Not one bit. I don't know what to tell you, man. It was fucked up. No doubt. Top to bottom. I ain't gonna ask why you picked Ava. After Eleanor, I... I'm done trying to sort out what's in other people's hearts. Let's just figure out this shit before more piles on. There's so many. They're pouring in. It's even worse than you think. The streets are overrun. Nowhere to go except inside the buildings, and those smelly fuckers are beating down every door. We're sitting goddamn ducks here. Everyone in town is. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck have we done? So what do we do? I don't want to die up here. None of us do, Gabe. Stabilize the city. Figure out how to make it safer for everyone. I saw construction vehicles when we got the armored truck. We can use those to stop the Muertos, seal the breach, and save Richmond. That's over by the motor pool at the water tower. We could use the highway overpass to get to the water tower. Come on. Let's jump. <laughs> Come on. It's an easy jump. <clears throat> Keep your eyes open. Stay aware of your surroundings. All of you. Let's move out. When we found Kate earlier, she hugged you. Why do you think she hugged you? Why was that? Just wondering. That can only mean one thing. She likes me more. Not a great time to joke around, Avi. to be careful up here or else the exact same thing will happen to us. Stay sharp and do not fire your guns. We're gonna be fine. That guy was all alone. We're not. Everyone hold back. Let Javi and I clear out these walkers. Move. You okay, bud? When I was little, Dad used to ask me what I wanted to be when I was a man. And I pointed him. He always liked that. I thought he was such a great guy. Would always make him smile. Every time. If he asked you again right now, would you say the same? He hasn't asked me yet. <laughs> Never be like your uncle. He told me that all the time. Don't be a man who relies on other people to solve your problems. Because then you're not a man at all. I used to think he was right. Not anymore, though, Javi. I can only hope I grow up to be like you. So, here's hoping. Oh, thanks, buddy. It means a lot. I'm sorry I never really said it before. I should have. Really, thanks a million. You're welcome, a million. You took such good care of me. Now we need to take care of Dad. He's the one that needs our help.
We're gonna have to go around the side. There's barely any room. <sighs> well, no time to waste. Come on. You know, I didn't think there was much that could scare me anymore. And yet, here we are. Just goes to show you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my life god. Life is full of surprises. Fear is the coffee of emotions. It wakes you up, keeps you sharp, could be a friend if you let it. Goddamn! This ain't nothing. Once we're back on the ground, that's when this shit's really gonna get scary. Got a bad feeling. Oh, good lord. It's nasty down there. Can't even describe it. I thought I was toast there. You almost were. If we make it down there, I'll owe you one. When we make it down there, There'll be plenty of opportunities for that. We have to get across. I know Gabe doesn't see it. But David really is trying to look out for him. He's not doing the best job, but no one gives you a rule book to raise a kid. And they sure as shit don't. There's just one thing I don't get, though. Did David really think he was helping AJ by letting him go? Why did he stop guarding him? Maybe you should ask him that. It might be that he just didn't care. Not everyone's like you, Clem. Not everyone wants to take care of a baby. I guess not, but after you put in all that work, so much of your heart... AJ was a brat. He lived with me after we kicked you out, Clem. Now, I'd already raised two kids. Thought it'd be a piece of cake. <laughs> not with that tyrant. Is that why you gave him away? We had a bad winter. Destroyed every crop we had. I couldn't leave Richmond. And AJ couldn't stay in Richmond. I gave AJ to Lingard and told him to do whatever he had to to save his life. I miss that, Brett. Never asked Lingard about it again. Though I've wanted to. Often. I'll bet the little brat misses you too. Both of you. It wasn't easy, Clem. Remember, far as I knew, I'd already lost two children. It wasn't any easier with number three. It's never easy. I'm gonna keep you alive. Keep all of us alive. And hope that that's enough. Enough for atonement. Huh. He was a brat, huh? A goofy little brat. You were trying to take care of him. Sometimes that's not so easy. Reminds me of someone who did the same thing for me. You did the right thing. Holy shit. Chopped right in half. The hell happened here? No way we're jumping across that. Well, there's the water tower. 
Not too far away. You're not thinking. It's that or go back. We should go lightest to heaviest. That way it won't break on the first swing. I'll go first, Clem. Get a long run up, but not too long. If you take too many quick steps, you'll propel yourself upward instead of out. Same with your jump. Just run off the end, don't leave. David. Try not to... He's got this. She's right. I do. <sighs> Come on, Clem. Your turn. Not at all. It's one thing for the kids to swing across, but us? You've got this. I've seen you do things that are way scarier. Okay. I can do it. <sighs> all right, David. You're up. You're the little brother. You should go first. Oh, you're definitely lighter. Ah, oh, come on, you know the drill. Age before beauty. <laughs> you fucker. One last, brother. Trip, you don't have Just to. Just go before I throw you across. It's all right, y'all! Shit. We should go back for him! How? Don't be fucking thick! I can... I can handle this! Oh, shit. Trip! Don't give up! Oh, my God. We gotta try. We can't just leave him. Y'all head out now! I don't want you seeing oh, this! Trip, no! Oh. Motherfucker! Trip! No! Ah! He went out fighting. I hope I do too. I'm sorry about your friend, Javi. He seemed like a good guy. Kind of guy you want on your side in a fight. It's priceless. Come on. We're almost there. Ah, 
I miss when all we did was track the herd. From a safe distance? We need to get down there. We're not getting anywhere without one of those vehicles. It's not like we can just ask all those walkers to move out of the way. How about we make some noise and distract them? We could use that generator. That's a great idea, Gabe. When'd you get so smart, Gabe? You really aren't the same kid I remember. I'm impressed, really. It's pretty obvious. Should have tried noticing. I'm definitely paying attention from now on. I'm proud of you, Gabe. Uh, thanks. We still gotta get to the generator somehow. Cut a walker open and cover yourself with its guts. Then you can slip right through them. What? Oh, that's a great idea. Gross idea, but great. I could have saved my water bottle. So, who's gonna do it? You know, you do kinda owe me one. You let Conrad use me as trade. That wasn't very polite. If it makes us even. Look, it smells really bad. Like, way worse than you think. Did it, Javi? Barely. Now that we're here, we gotta find something to seal the breach with. All we need is the right vehicle. Oh, that's not gonna do the job, man. Yes, it is. What are you doing? The right thing. I'm leaving. We're all leaving. What? And going where? You saw it yourself. We're surrounded by the herd. I'm taking my family out of here. You helped keep them safe, Clem. You're coming too. Let's go. Everyone. We can't wait around. 
This is bullshit, David. Absolutely not. Everyone in Richmond will die without us. They don't matter, Javi. Don't you get that? This all started the day we knocked on Richmond's door. We brought this on these people, all of us. We can't abandon them. Not after what we've done. We're going home, Kate. Back to the last place we were a family. We're starting over. We're all together again. Finally. It's time. All of us. A new day. A new life. But what about here, man? Make Richmond our new home. Richmond is gone, Javi. I'm not gonna let the people I love die trying to save a dead dream. I'll go with you, Dad. Gabe! He's my father, Clem. I'm sorry, but... you really wouldn't understand. Think this over, buddy. Gabe? Is this what you really want? I know it's scary out there, but... I have to. You don't have to be afraid, Gabe. I won't let what happened to Mariana happen to you. You have my word. I will protect you the right way. We always hoped you would come back. I wish you'd gotten to know her. Her smile, man, it was, it was like sunshine. I'm not missing another minute with my family now. This is what I want. I... I understand, Gabe. I'm still going back. I won't be able to live with myself if I don't try to help the people in Richmond. You won't be able to live at all if you do that. Richmond is compromised. It doesn't matter if there were five of us trying to save it or 500. We'd all die. I know a losing battle when I see one. We're moving out. Everybody get in. That's an order. How fucking dare you? What will it take, David? What will it take to show you that you do not get to do that? We are not your soldiers. Run away home. Be a deserter. I am done with you. Let's go, Javi. Why the fuck do you think he would go with you? Tell him. What the fuck is this? Javi! I love her, man. We're in love. I should have known. I should have known the night Pa died. The night you weren't there. Blood is worthless to you. Just like he was to you. Just like I am to you. Well, it's time for you to finally learn what blood really means! David! Dad! What do you have to say for yourself, brother? David! Stop it! I love you. No. No, you don't get to say that! <laughs> Jesus Christ, stop! How fucking dare That's you! That's enough! Stop it! David, stop! Oh my God! <laughs> Dad, no! Oh my god! You're not taking my family from me! David, no! I'm gonna fucking kill you! Fucking stop! Hey, where did you stop? I love you, brother. No!
David took him. We can't wait any longer. We have to go help Richmond. I'm getting on that bulldozer. But Gabe... Gabe wanted to go. He did. We all heard it. You're... You're right. I'm going to save Richmond. Someone has to. I'll use that motorcycle and go after Gabe. Javi, you should help Kate. What about you, Clem? I can take care of myself. We're out of time. Javi, I'm sorry. I've been here before, more than once. It's not gonna end well for everyone. You have to decide. It's hard to be caught in the middle, I know that. Don't worry about me, Javi, I'll be okay. I can't let Kate go by herself. It's too dangerous. I'm going with Kate to save the city. Okay, I understand. Be careful out there, Clem. You too. Both of you. If we're gonna drive into the herd, we're gonna need these. There's a happy sight. Can you help us get the gate open? Almost didn't recognize you, Jesus. Once I got in contact with my people, I headed right back. Had to make sure you folks were safe. I think I'm getting the hang of this. We'll keep the muertos away. Just get me to the gate so I can open it up. We're almost there! Javi, get in the bus kit and I'll lift you to the top of the gate! Bus kit? The thing in the front! The scooper thing! Whatever! Get in it! Yuck. Javi! The busket! Right. Yeah, busket. Nice of you folks to drop by. In a second. They couldn't just have an open gate button. You did it, Javi! Bingo. Let's get inside and wrangle the walkers together. If we get them in one group, we can lead them right out. Full steam ahead. Crossed. Help! 
That's it. Let's get out of here. Jesus, over here. We need to round up these walkers. Head them towards the gate. Welcome back. I thought we were coming back to, uh... Well, not to this. It's just a little surprising. That's all. Yeah, we've had some... difficulties. Certainly one way to put it. Javi, look! It's Clem! Gabe? Is he...? No, no, he's fine. He's just banged up. What happened, Clem? Their car got overrun with walkers and crashed. I was barely able to save Gabe. What about David? David's dead. I'm just glad you found Gabe in time. Thank you. Thank you for saving Gabe. I don't know what I'd do if I lost him too. Of course. When I got there, it looked like David had turned. And that Gabe had to... stop him. Oh, God. Gabe. It's horrible. Uh, Javi? My... my dad... he... I know, buddy. He's... he's gone. No, no. He... wanted me to tell you... to... take care of each other. Where did you find them? A little ways outside of town. Not too far. Can you take Gabe somewhere safe? Yeah, sure. Come on, Javi. Where are we going? A funeral. Over here, Kate. It's this way. God. Poor David. Poor Gabe. I can't imagine. Yeah. Poor Gabe. He shouldn't have had to suffer that. <sighs> yeah. He talked about this every day. What to do when he died. He was convinced it would happen in the field. Every day. As common as talking about the weather. Then be happy, David. You got what you wanted. More than you realize. He'd talk about his military funeral the way that other people talked about retirement plans. He'd only change the subject if I promised I'd bury these. He didn't care about burying his body. As far as he was concerned, this was him. Help me dig. It doesn't have to be much. should probably say something. That's what you do. Usually. I'm gonna keep watching out for Gabe. We'll take care of each other. Do you, uh, you want to say something? Let's go.
It was his own fault. If you regret helping me, if you're feeling any guilt, bury it. I mean it. Don't let it eat you up inside. We need to move on. Move forward. We do. And we will. Usually the quiet scares me. What about now? There's a lot of work to be done. The herd could come back. Still, though, I feel more calm here than... than I ever did in an old van on streets with no streetlights. We earned this, Javi. We earned feeling calm in the quiet. Let's start a family. You and me. A fresh start. What do you say? I think it'd be good for us. You're on. Let's start a family. You don't think it's selfish? It's not the safest world outside of Richmond. Or inside it, truth be told. So long as I got you, I'm not too worried about it. We'll be up there before we know it. Better do something worthwhile in the meantime. And yet death was not something you could ignore. It had its weight. It seemed to her she had better not form the practice of ignoring death. If she tried it, death would find a way to answer back. It would take another of her loved ones to remind her to respect it. What's that you're reading? Oh, some old book Francine always tried to get me to read. Cowboys and shit like that. Told her it wasn't my style. She would insist, though. <laughs> and I'd insist right back otherwise. Francine must have had good taste. Looks like you're enjoying it. Just don't tell Francine. Head now? Yes, indeed. We came here to put an end to the raiding. Looks like that's been done. Glad we got it settled. Gotta move on. I gotta admit, man, you're a fucking badass. You're a real charmer. You know that, through and through. I meant to tell you, that uh, armor you got is great. Oh. Oh, uh. Hmm. Well, um, uh, thanks. Um, uh, it gets the job done. I don't meet a lot of people like you, Javi. Someone genuinely good. It was my pleasure. Second chances are in short supply these days. That's what this place can be if you let it. Trust me, though. Life within walls is a hell of a lot different than life on the road. Don't take shortcuts like Joan. You gotta do the right thing. Always. Good days, and especially bad. Absolutely. The right thing. No matter what. Good to hear. I read people pretty well. A little gift of mine. You're a capable guy, Javi. Change is in the air here. You can lead that change, and I think you should. For the better. God knows this town could use it. You know what? I'm gonna step up. Lead this place in the right direction. Then as far as I'm concerned, Richmond's in much better hands than it was. Hey, uh, Jesus? 
Hey, uh, Gabe. Thanks for, you know, not letting me get killed and for coming back to help us. Yeah, thanks for that, man. Pay it forward. Be vigilant. Trouble never stays too far away. You're alive. Don't remind me. I'm not gonna say thank you for keeping me alive. But I'm gonna try and find something out there that might make me say thank you. Someday. So where's AJ? Tell me. Where? You know Clem won't rest until she finds AJ. Where is he? Please, man. For her sake. He's in McCarroll Ranch. It's not too far from here. That's... That's where we left him, at least. Thank you. Good luck out there, Doctor. So you're out of here too, huh? Yeah. It's time. I have to find AJ, Javi. I've waited so long. But could you do me one last favor before I leave? I used to do this for my niece. That's nice of you. She thought I was terrible at it. Were you? Not your business. I'm really gonna miss Gabe. I mean, he's super annoying sometimes, but I've gotten used to having him around. At least, to have someone to talk to, even if he is a total dork. Not that he said anything to me in particular, but... You know the guy's got a Mondo crush on you, right? He does not. Oh my gosh, you have a crush on him too. I do not. Well, you both have my blessing. <laughs> I'm gonna stab you with those scissors. I have to see AJ Javi. I have to see that he's okay. Do you think he remembers me? At least a little? Maybe? Who could forget you, Clem? No one who knew you, I guarantee it. Yeah, maybe. Everyone told us he was better off. After everything that's happened, I'm starting to think they're right. I don't know if I was a good mom or not. I can't stop thinking about it. I really wish I could. It's not about good or not good. You kept him alive. You did your job. Until someone else had to do it for me. Gabe told me you used to play baseball. I did. I loved it. He told me you fucked it all up, too. Yep. Sure did. Well, you survived. I had to. But you loved it. How do you survive that? How? If you really loved it, how? You get back out there and find something better. There may not be something better out there. You won't know until you step outside. All done. Well, how's it look? You know what? I'll grab your hat. <laughs> I remember this team. Your dad ever teach you about baseball? No, not really. Well, you come back, and I'll tell you all about it. It's a deal. If I bring AJ back with me, will you teach him too?
You bet. He belongs with you, Clementine. Bring him back. <laughs>